Hello and how goes it? I'm Andrew, your DM for the day, along with this band of miscreants and murder hobos. You see at the bottom of the screen, we're the Dirty Rollers, and this is our Wild Beyond the Witchlight campaign. Hello? Um, Andy? Hold on. Yes? Dang, um, moist milk is behind Sarah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I have to fix that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm hiding. <laughs> it kind of looks like Sarah has... <laughs> Sarah and Moist have become one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we they did that last merged. time, so there wasn't that weird space there. Uh, I gotta grab this milk, <laughs> moist oh, milk. Ew. There we go. I'm back. Hey, James. Oh. Good timing. He. Oh. There we go. Everybody gets to watch moist milk scoot across the bottom of the screen. You can be go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> why was like <laughs> why was that so funny? I feel like that shouldn't have been as funny as I found it. Do the milk slide. The milk slide. <laughs> All right. Thank Rev for that one. Yeah. Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh thanks for joining us to start here. Um got a lot of good stuff going on here. We got, we got a got a lot to get to. Um by my awful, terrible, notoriously bad uh, judgment of time here, I think we have, after today, probably two to three more sessions of the carnival. So some of you might be ready to get the hell out of here. Other ones will be sad. Um, but I think we're finally, we're finally nearing level two for these guys. Uh, oh, Woo! <laughs> I'm at six hit points, so that'd be nice. Longest level one ever. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> We'll get uh, we'll get everybody introduced here, and uh, don't make promises your players can't keep. That is one hundred percent spot on. <laughs> I guess that it's true. all it's all up to them. <laughs> but in terms of what they have left to do, um, probably about two to three more. But again, I'm notoriously bad for guesstimating this. So um, we're going to get into it and see if we can get as much done as possible today. Um, I'm going to introduce the players, and then we're going to do a quick little recap and jump right in. So first off, we have the recently just arrived, uh, fresh on the mic, Sir James. Are you ready? Indeed, I am. Excellent. <laughs> what are you? What are you? <laughs> am I? I'm looking in the mirror right now. Hello, I'm James, and I play Albie Godwin. I'm an owlin rogue who just <laughs> found his brothers and is now looking for his mum. Excellent. Uh, next up, we have mozzarella. Hello, I'm mozzarella, like the chi. He's also known as the Joybringer. He's a little ferretin bard who's deaf and super cute. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Matthew? Hello, I am playing Freddy, the little owl and warlock. We started out having so much fun at the carnival, and then it got really bad <laughs> with all the kidnappings and such. <laughs> no, nah, you guys are still having fun. It's just fun with the intermittent kidnapping. And that's, you know, like a regular carnival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are on the case, though. You're, you're trying to help out and, and uh, figure out what's going on, I think. I don't know. We'll see what you get up to. Freddy Godwin on the case. Uh, next up, we have... Mr. Garen, who are you playing? I play the third Owlin brother named Albert Godwin, and he's a draconic bloodline sorcerer. Excellent. Um, and then, you know, you'd think I'd have this all down and ready to go. No. Uh, Beanie, who are you playing? Hello, I play Lavana or Leev. She's a Kalstar sorcerer. There you go. Nailed it. Got it. That time we, we were actually listening to the last episode for the the editing and stuff, and both of us like I, I don't know how she says this in like one it, sentence <laughs> properly. <laughs> it's so hard to say. It's like a tongue twister. Gosh. I would never be able to. Wait, say it. <laughs> say it in Moist Milk's voice, uh, Melissa. <laughs> oh God. Wait. Say the say the word again. Alashtar. Uh, yeah. Alashtar. <laughs> I'm Levy, and I'm playing Clashes. Of the sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go>. Perfect. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and back to join us, um, fresh from the nurse's station after getting way too sick on the bumper mugs ride. Lewis, who are you playing? I'm playing Sarah, the half orc barbarian. I've got a cold, but it's kind of adding to the gruffy, so I mean, it works. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Silver lining. And last but not least, you've heard from her already. Melissa, let's hear about your gross character. Hi. I'm Melissa, <laughs> aka General Tampon Mel, and I play the goblinoid hexblood paladin, a moist milk. Ugh. <laughs> And I, I think she's she's probably going to be doing a whole lot of talking today. So I hope I hope you're all prepared. And uh, quick little recap. Um, these guys are at the carnival looking for a way into the Feywild. They were given the task by the old warlock named Adric Rosloff. They are supposed to hunt down his patron, uh, Zabilna, and uh, try to figure out if she's OK. He hasn't heard from her in quite some time, and he's trying to see what's going on. Um, Feels like an absence uh, from his his magical powers there, um, and they at the, at the carnival they've had uh, all sorts of experiences ranging from you know, the super happy and fun to the mine ride, uh, which was the lowest of the low for the group so far. Um, except for Freddy, Freddy might challenge that as Freddy last session watched uh, a young child that did not have a set of the the fake butterfly wings on disappear under the calliope pulled under by a green skinned hand. Um, previously, uh, they had just finished up talking to Diana Cloppington, the, um, I would have called her a centaur before, but the secret's out. She was not really a centaur. Um, she was more a human or a humanoid, uh, that was merged with her lost war horse after failing to specify the details of a pack she made with a hag. Um, so she got her war horse's body and her body all uh, mishmashed into one. And because her art is wonderful, I am going to pull that up real fast. She does like have that, really nice art. It's like that Dungeon Alchemist plot twist with the dog. Dungeon, Dungeon Alchemist? Dungeon no, Alchemist? Uh, 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 uh. The Full oh Metal? God. Yes! That's that the first thing I thought of. I was like, <laughs> dog plot! <laughs> it's messed up. Pretty much. <laughs> It is. Um, but they actually had, had um, talked to Diana Cloppington. Um, she was unable to give any information directly, but uh, she was rather, uh, I don't know, half the party thought it was kind of cruel. The other half thought it was amusing. Uh, put in charge of the carousel um, with the, uh, the wooden unicorns. And she kind of hinted that the unicorns may be able to tell the characters more than she would be able to. Uh, should they solve, um, should the party solve their puzzles? Uh, they, they put their heads together. Uh, their awesome DM accidentally gave an answer away and, uh, they, they solved the, solved the whole puzzle. Um, they were able to glean a little bit of information. Uh, there seems to be three locations the players need to go to. There seems to be three hags, uh, responsible for some of the happenings here. Um, you learn that the hags don't really trust each other. Um, they, they seem to be kind of staying away from each other. And is there any more to that? Scab did the bad. <laughs> yeah, did the bad. Um, I have an unrelated thing. Um, Sister, I think you have an echo going on sometimes. Oh. Uh... I think that was all the information for now. Um, and while, while she figures that out, um, we'll go on. Uh, we ended the episode uh, at the Big Top Extravaganza, which I'm going to switch us screens and get that pulled up. We need the carnival. And we need this here. Oop. There we go. we got everybody I'm not cutting anybody off um yeah he ended up at the carnival um i was in the line waiting to go in where freddie witnessed the child get pulled under the calliope uh, when freddie went and looked the child was not there just seemingly vanished somewhere under the calliope um the owner and operator Freddy or albie 
Was it Albie? Crap. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was Albie. It was Albie. Whoops, I had that backwards. My bad. It's all okay. the owls. The owl brothers. It's just an owl. Who cares? <laughs> one of the owls. <laughs> one of the owls. <laughs> yeah, one of the owls. The owls. Albie all witnessed the, the child. Owls look alike. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you're all completely different. Uh, that is true. Completely yeah. different. How did you guys come from the same parents? Kind of different. Uh, That's we, what I keep on. We've got horns. We've got the the little one. We've got um, the, the even littler one. I don't know. Albino. <laughs> Matthew's albino. Albino owl. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a regular owl, but I'm just albino. And you're all based on three different types of owls, right? <laughs> we're the same owl. Yeah, we're the same I type think. Of owl. Are you? Yeah. I. How can I they so. be? No, I thought you were all different ones. Just different colors. I think just coloration. Oh, I hear them different. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so C star drew them different, but they're the, supposed to be the same type. <laughs> That's all right. We're all supposed to be elf owls, which are adorable, by the way. That's all right. I, I was I was confused too. I thought they were all different ones. I thought they were all different, also. Yeah. But anyways, um, inside the big top, um, they were pulled in for the the big top extravaganza. This is the kind of the supposed to be the midway point but we're a little past that uh of the carnival where various um acts are performed different um acts of daring and and awe and wonder um and while they're in there you guys have come across some of the the like targets of your various investigations and and looking into things so um as we discussed beforehand as i was trying to keep track of everything albie you were in here and you caught sight of someone that seemed out of place. You found a, a human uh, kind of sneaking through the crowd. And as you watched them pass a group of elves, they transformed into like a, a near identical version of one of the elves they passed. And that, that person kind of caught your attention. Um, and we ended with you kind of trailing them. Uh, Moist Milk was heading towards uh, Palasha, the mermaid, and her... Um, her like, bowl that she was in, like uh, swimming around in and singing to the crowd. Uh, and behind you, you had uh, Freddie following you, and Sir Lovey Pork was along for the ride, just seeing what kind of chaos was going to ensue from uh, you lot this time. Um, Lavana was, in her own words, stalking Burley. You can see, you can see Mr. Burley over here now. We got a, got a nice, nice picture of him. Nice yeah, token. He looks a little scary now. <laughs> That's <laughs> he, not how I was imagining him. <laughs> he, he looks a lot less scary. It's okay. Um, he's uh, he's a big, big gentle guy. Uh, I should be able to pull this up. Yeah. You have his art. Oh. Oh. There's Mr. That Burley. Looks much less oh. scary than the token. <laughs> <laughs> the token looked more scary. Oh man, he reminds me of uh, the Juggernaut. He's holding. He's, he's holding a red, <laughs> red squirrel. Oh, yep. oh yeah. He got his red squirrel there. Oh, yeah. I think that was the one on the tree. Um, oh, oh. That yeah. oh. was Lev. Uh, I love that anything in here you guys are going to think is related to something else. And like I've I've been getting their uh, their conspiracy theories and everything, and it's fantastic. and I love it. Um, Maz, uh, after taking in the sights and sounds of the big top, uh, Maz decided to go and follow Lev it, over towards Burley. Uh, Albert, uh, I think as soon as uh, as soon as Albert saw fire and flame, he became kind of transfixed by it and. Uh, <laughs> One of the main the, the main ring in here in the in the big top carnival were a group of um, goblins uh, all juggling flaming bowling pins, uh, just pulling them through the air in all kinds of uh, crazy manners. And uh, yeah, Albert was immediately transfixed, and he's been standing there watching um, the fire jugglers. Um, Sarah, who had gotten sick. Uh, on the bumper mugs due to Moist Milk's uh, disgusting salad. Uh, what was all in that? Oh, whoa, it was definitely the bumps. Oh, oh. <laughs> Broccoli and carrots, probably onion. I made some goat milk ranch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is all in the mug with you, correct? 
Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, so poor Sarah uh, had a little bit of an illness last time and had to spend a, a wee bit, maybe an hour or so in the nurse's station uh, recovering from that. Um, Sarah, we will say, we'll say first that I forgot your token somewhere. I don't know where I've stashed it. Probably over by the bumper mugs. Maybe. Yeah. South of the feasting orchard. There we go. I think. Hmm. We forgot the feasting orchard. <laughs> so far. Uh, I think we were saving it for Sarah when Sarah got back. <laughs> That's true. Yes, yeah, so let me get it's not over yet. Anyway. Let me get Sarah over here with the group. Oop. From off screen. That looked cool. I like that. All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Sarah joins the group. Um, and I believe the only other thing to really mention is that uh right when we ended last time uh mr witch mr light i'm gonna get them confused as bad as i get the owls confused mr light i'm gonna check (laughs) i've got to make sure i get this right because if i get this wrong then you guys are all going to be thrown off mr light mr light is uh this one here the kind of tall skinny one with the uh the weird kind of scepter wand thing. Um, he announced that at this point in the show, um, he was going to open it up to any guests uh, to see if they would like to put on their own acts for the crowd. Um, and we ended it there because just in case um, Sarah wanted to get in on any of this, I didn't want her to miss out. So we're going to start right there. Um, does anybody, do you guys have any questions, anything that I missed or you want to make sure we cover? No, I'm good. All good. Uh, we're, I do have one Yeah, real quick one. Diana Cloppington told us to maybe avoid talking to Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. Or, like, she told us to go talk to more like her, but to avoid talking. Was it, was she talking about Mr. Witch and Mr. Light? Mm, you want to phrase, rephrase it? I don't know exactly what you mean. Uh, like, was she saying don't trust them? I don't think she was saying don't trust them. Um, you guys have... Uh, Maybe don't tell them about all the crazy stuff? You guys have heard from a few different people around the carnival now, like uh, the workers and things, um, that they're, they're kind of on edge about something. Like something has them rattled um, that they're, they're not really talking about. And um, they aren't really divulging that to, to anyone. Uh, anytime someone has tried to talk to them, they, they either ignore it or shut it down. Um, and I want to say that um, what Diana had mentioned was just to, um, like avoiding talking to them might be the... Or, uh, how do I want to put this? Avoiding talking to them about Mr. Witch and Mr. Light might be the, the better way to go there. Okay. Did I, I mangled that. I feel like I mangled that anyway. Huh. Talking to Mr. Witch and Mr. Light about the problems directly um, probably be the, the way to go. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to double check real quick. Um, look real fast and... Yeah, I think it was just the, you know, probably best to not ask them directly that they just weren't having any part of it. Gotcha. All right. So uh, yep. we are going to get. I can find the music. I thought it was loading and it stopped. Um, let's see. We're in the big top. We'll play that. Is there a map for the big top by chance? There's not. Okay. 
Um, cause you, I mean, you'll, you'll see why there's not really a whole lot of things you need to map for directly in here, but. Okay. All right. So we're going to start, uh, with my list at the top. Albie, you are yeah. following the, <laughs> what well, was a human that turned into an elf walking in front of the middle ring in the circus here or in the carnival rather, um, they are booking it from like left to right, heading towards uh, Palasha. Shifty bastard. And I'll just keep stealthing, following, and <laughs> keeping an eye just to make sure that if I if I see it change again, just to keep an eye because this is some strange behavior. And if it tries to grab somebody or whatever. Okay. Um, and. No one is going with Albi, right? Everyone's kind of doing their own thing. As uh, as Grim was talking about, everyone split the party like, I don't know, five different ways here. Yeah, it seems so. Sorry. It, uh, you, you have I don't nothing to apologize for. See him. He had like a 27 on his stealth. This is true. All right, so Albi, while you are, are kind of tracking them, I'm using your, your stealth from last time. Um, go ahead and make an investigation check for me, please. Investigation coming up. You could do it. Perfect. Okay. So. Nice. With all of the things going on in here, and you notice specifically... Um, you guys remember the there was like fairy dragons uh, towards the top of the tent in here, um, kind of zipping around with streamers on attached to their tails. This like um, bright reflective surfaces on the streamers. Um, specifically, when the light catches those streamers and it flashes over um, like the sections of the crowd where this elf is going, you see like almost a flicker as the light passes through, and you see dark black feathers before the um, <gasps> before the image of the elf elf yes before the the, flick, the image of the elf takes back over oh, oh. I love it I love it uh, how okay how far away is this guy um you are trying to keep your distance uh, so you're probably I'm about 20 feet away or so <laughs> is it still pretty crowded or is it kind of like on and off like little bursts of people here and there and then some little spaces here and there? oh no it's this is the most crowded you've you've seen the the entirety of the Witchlight uh, carnival mm. this is it's pretty well packed in here you know, like there's there's the stands like bleachers uh, the wooden bleachers kind of uh, ringing around here um, there's the performers kind of running all over the place. Remember, there's the trapeze act up above that had the crowd like ooing and awing. Um, you had the there was the fire, the goblin fire jugglers, um, the fairy dragons um, of Palasha, like I said. Uh, let's see. Yeah, she's in the, a clamshell bathing pool. That's what it was. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, Candlefoot the Mime is up where... Um, up towards where Moist Smoke was. He was playing, uh, he's miming tug of war with uh, um, a couple of the, the kids and audience members up in the stands. Uh, this is up here, uh, this way. So yeah, you have uh, a fairly crowded area. You're about 20, foot, 20 feet behind this um, elf that's maybe not an elf. Can I close that distance by 10 feet? while trying to keep a steady eye on him. Yeah, uh, your, your 27 uh, stealth is, is going to keep you nice and hidden. And again, like the closer you get and the more frequently you see the reflection of those streamers uh, wash over this elf, uh, the more frequently you're seeing um, it actually looks to be someone a bit shorter um, instead of like a nice easy gait while they're walking, it's almost like a little hobble of a run. Ooh, okay. Um, uh, uh, if you want, you can go to the next person, but I I do just want to keep an eye out. Like, I'll, I'll probably act and 
I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to attack, but I will attempt to intercept if I do see this being turned into a full-on Kanku. Okay. Because all I know is that they're just growing feathers. There's weird stuff here. Well, you do know, like, you've been told a few times about the, the Kanku that's been causing trouble. So you're aware that there's something like that around the carnival? Like your character, Albi, has has been told that yeah. directly. It's not a you don't have to worry about a metagaming thing or any of that. Like that's that's knowledge your character has. Okay. Uh, chat. How's the volume? Is can you guys hear it well enough for the uh, the music and ambience? And um, Sarah, uh, slowly making your way over to the big top. Like you can hear. All of the the sounds, like uh, you hear a lot of the gasps and oohs and ahs coming from inside, and you hear um, laughter and clapping. Um, yeah. Um, outside, there is a. Uh, it was a a tiefling clown, or a tiefling in like clown makeup and um, the witch light hand attire, that's um, beckoning you to to come on in. You're gonna miss the show. Oh, there's a show going on in there. Oh, yes, yes, there is. There is a show. Maybe halfway through it, I think we're getting to the best part: the audience participation. Oh, uh, have you seen a, a group of uh, cute little animals and a goblin come through here? <laughs> it, <laughs> cute little animals and a goblin. Uh, well, yes, yes, actually, I, I believe the the small furry one even dodged a. A cotton candy poking, if I recall. <laughs> okay, good, good. Uh, do you need my ticket? Oh no, no, no tickets required for this. This is uh, this is free for everyone. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Please enjoy. So inside here. Go ahead and make a perception check. We'll see who all you spot in here right off the bat. Okay, so you spot pretty much all of them. If you were to, to go in and take a look around, you spot all of them except for Albie. Uh, Albie is the only one that seems to be missing at the moment. Um, but you see Levana and Maz uh, down at the the left side end of the tent. You see them kind of intently looking towards the back part of the tent. Um, you see Albert standing right in front of the one of the rings. He's he's not sitting down. He's just standing there, uh, beak agape as he's watching the fire jugglers. Um, you see. Uh, Freddy trailing behind uh, Moist Milk with uh, Sir Levy Pork kind of watching and chuckling up in the bleachers as uh, um, they're watching the the invisible game of tug of, tug of war uh, with the candle foot the mime. Um, <laughs> you see uh, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, or I think it, I think it was just Mr. Light actually standing at the front. Whoops, can't move him on that screen. There we go. Uh, standing in the, the middle of the center ring, um, he kind of holding his hands out wide in, in presentation. And you walked in right as he was um, kind of gesturing about um, asking if any of the crowd wanted to participate in um, putting on a show, putting on an act. You see um, kind of the other things that I've mentioned to you. You see the Palasha the Mermaid in a clamshell bathing pool on the right side. Um, Kind of closer towards moist milk, um, you see all the fairy dragons zipping around through the air with their their little streamers attached to their tail. You see the trapeze axe going on up above, um, the goblin fire jugglers, like I mentioned, and just a whole ton of people crammed into this, all watching, all all very intently watching and getting really into this. So I see everybody but Albie, right? Yep. All right. I'll walk over here to uh, Albert. Oh, you like the fire, huh? Oh, yes, very much. Oh, you like fire too? Oh, it can be fun, but it's dangerous. Don't get too close. No. No, I don't like to get close. <laughs> 
Well, uh, I'll just uh, stand behind you in case anything happens, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, does Albert have any singed feathers or anything? From, uh, yeah. <laughs> from, like, his various, like, playing with fire? Yeah, yeah. He has little, his feathers are kind of skew and kind of burnt in little different places. Okay. So, Sarah, you're just uh, taking up a spot over by Albert and just kind of watching. Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch the fire, too. Okay. Uh, then we'll go over to Moist Milk. All right, so how far away am I from Palasha, or am I right up on her fishbowl? Uh, I couldn't remember. I think you were up in the... Either up in the stands or, or like, right below where uh, Candlefoot was. So you're you're pretty close, like, to the the ring that she's in, but you're not, like, up next to her just yet. Okay, I will... Wave wildly at Candlefoot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, does he see me? He takes a second, but he eventually sees you as he's he's struggling mightily hard, uh, miming this this tug of war act. Uh, the the crowd uh, members that are getting into this, they are also like just miming. They're they're getting really into it, right? They're they're miming, pulling back just as hard as he is, and. Um, yeah, he looks like he might actually be breaking a sweat doing this fake tug of war. Um, and he sees, he's looking around real quick between tugs here. He sees you and uh, he sees you waving. Uh, he acts like he takes a hand off a rope and goes to wave and then just falls on his butt. Just, just acting like he, uh, or not falls on his butt, actually falls forward. My bad. Um, as he takes a hand off the, the rope that's not actually there. Um, <laughs> he falls forward. Sorry, I broke his concentration. <laughs> 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 Sir, uh, Sir Lovey Pork and oh my uh, I think he lost the game <laughs> yeah I probably should have waited until he was done hmm. oh it's okay I think he had a grand time anyway look at him look at him laughing and you, you look up and you'd see uh, Candlefoot uh, yeah, he's he's laughing silently and he's he's going over and giving each of the kids that partook in this like a little pat on the head and um, you can see him like flick each one of them like a it looks like a coin, but you, you're you sharp enough to catch it. There's no uh, like shimmer or shine off of it, so it's probably some kind of like wooden like souvenir kind of token or something. Um, he goes and shakes hands with any of the adults that took part in it. And um, yeah, they all, they all, everyone seems in good spirits there, and he kind of saunters on across the top. He, he looks over at you one more time and gives you a wave. Um, and make a perception check for me, please, Moist Milk. Perception. <laughs> okay. Um, so the twelve, you see, like as he's he's waving at you, you see his his gaze kind of go up above you somewhere. I would like to look up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of the fairy dragons there. <laughs> Are they going to shit in my eye? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Gonna, no, you're safe. Gonna look Go look back at Candlefoot and shrug. <laughs> right. um, he kind of looks looks down at you and looks like a little bit like, uh, like you, you caught him looking at something. And he, he shakes his head a little quick. A, a, a little bit, not a little quick. Shakes his head a little bit and um, makes a, like a gesture like, oh, I'm sorry. And... Um, moves on further like into the stands to to go interact with more people hmm. I think he just ignored me <laughs> did you see that pork Freddy can you believe that shit oh I'm sorry I I, I didn't see what you were talking about I'm, I'm too busy uh, taking everything in this is a grand time here <laughs> she just kind of sneers at him a little bit and then turns to Freddy <laughs> Sneers at him. <laughs> it's, it's just, just a slight, more. just a slight sneer. It's kind of irritated, you know. Uh, you turn to see Freddy with just like bulging cheeks full of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> uh. Oh, uh. <laughs> Good job, dear kid. Uh, you want to go see Palasha? Ah. Uh. I always get a curl stuck in the back of my throat. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, that sounds fine. Ew. Okay, oh, let's go. What was that you were saying about Caterfoot? Ah, oh, wait, wait for me! Come on. And she's gonna <laughs> walk up to the fish bowl. And what is she currently doing, Palasha? Um, she's swimming around and still trying to like sing and serenade her end of the tent here. Do I hear any specific lyrics that would catch my attention? Um, involving Candlefoot? <laughs> involving Candlefoot specifically? Um, or a lost love? <laughs> no. Um, at the moment, the, the songs are more like uplifting in nature and kind of just jovial songs. Uh, like she seems to be in good spirits and... On your 12 perception check still, um, you can see, like, every time she makes her the rounds around her uh, her bathing pool here, um, you can see her eyes drift up to a particular corner of the uh, the tent you guys are in. Is it the Candlefoot Corner? It sure is. Oh, my, oh my heart. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I'm a... Get closer to the fishbowl and try to get her attention. Oh, she's so pretty. This would be Palasha. Ooh, I love oh. her. Whoa. So pretty. Aww. Wow. I want to hug her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's swimming around like at the top of this, um, you know, with her, her head up out of the water, but she's kind of swimming in circles to the 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 beat of her tune that she's singing here and um yeah every time she makes it around uh back your direction she does look up towards where candlefoot is mingling around with everyone (laughs) i'm gonna put my face in between her and candlefoot so she can see me oh no it's like she goes to look at candlefoot and there's me hey (laughs) (laughs) she kind of stutters uh in the middle of her song uh it catches herself ever the uh the professional here um, it, she just kind of gives you a quizzical look as she she's recognizing you or, or not recognizing. I guess uh, no. I mean she's she's recognizing you're there. She doesn't know who you are though. And Hi, Queen. <laughs> you see a smirk curl up and on one side of her mouth there. She just Yo. doesn't stop singing though. Hold on. Do I still have an echo? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Is the sound on your laptop? It could be the open back uh, oh, my headphones. Head. If the sound's coming through too loud through the headphones, then they'll come through the mic. Ah, I haven't heard it since the very beginning. I heard it just a little bit. Well, she, I think she's been muted, too, till she started talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. If it continues, let me know, and I'll figure something out. Okay. Uh, so anyway, she's, hey, queen. <laughs> so, I hear you've got a lovely gentleman that just loves you. Um, every time she passes by you, uh, you see uh, like a mix of her face is saying like "go on," but also like there's a there's kind of a stern look to it too that it makes you think you maybe be careful. Mm. Oh. Mm. Does, so moist milk catches that, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, lovely voice there, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm going to take my fist and pound my chest the way Candlefoot did. Mm-hmm. And. Oh, I don't know how to do. Mm. Wait, a <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me look at something. Are you trying to figure out how to mime something? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, you haven't heard from anyone that she's deaf or anything, and you certainly have your voice that she's heard. So if this is if this is you miming uh, just because you want to, that's completely fine. But I just wanted to, to clarify that. Oh, we haven't rested yet. <gasps> <laughs> oh no! Crap! 
this is what you want to do. This is eight or seven sessions of one long ass night. Oh man, yeah. it's been a long day. <laughs> it has. has been very long. So I can't do eerie token, can I? Yeah, we're past midnight uh, by this point. Wait, does that mean I can do eerie token then? No, because you haven't rested. Does it actually take a rest, or does it take? It's it's resting. Is it? Shoot. I was going to pull out a tooth and talk to her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh. Well, you just pull out a tooth and toss it in her fish bowl? Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Oh, my God. I can talk to her telepathically. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> and <laughs> and people a thought a Band-Aid in the pool was bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Well. Yeah, you can't do so again until you finish a long rest. So that oh. your missing part regrows. It's, it's how it's yeah. worded. <laughs> oh boy! All right, You're I will just give her some space, and I'm gonna just kind of look where the head honchos are and see if they're like giving me any notice. Um, no. Um, so it's it's really just the one. It's really just Mr. Light uh, in the middle of the ring there, and he's he's kind of looking around. So this is. It sounds like this has gone on a minute, but this is a lot of things all happening at once. So he's asked for any crowd participants and you hear mostly kids, by the way, uh, all volunteer. And, you know, they're throwing their hand up like, oh, me, 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 me. Like you, you hear that kind of thing go up around the tent. <clears throat> a handful of adults, um, some that kind of look like adventurers and stuff. But um yeah, it's just Mr. Light up there. Mr. Witch, like the, the bigger of the two, is still in the back. Uh, he's like outside of that middle ring. Um, and he, he keeps he's looking kind of fidgety and he, he pulls out the timepiece out of his pocket and like flips it open and he glances at it and kind of furrows his brow and closes it and shoves it back in his pocket. And he, he does this, I mean, probably about as much as we all look at our cell phones given 60 second time span. But um mm. He seems very like agitated and fidgety looking at the, the clock or the, the timepiece. And you notice occasionally, not very often, but occasionally he's he's wandering around um, kind of directing people like he'll, he'll go up and direct a group of performers like one way or like try to avoid t- two different groups from crashing into each other or something. Um, he's He's very much like the background person here. Not the the loud, bright, front and center one like Mr. Light is. Hmm. Um, Miss Milk, do you want me to <laughs> cause a distraction and you can converse a little bit with Miss Palasha? I'm afraid there's too many eyes around. Too many eyes that I don't trust. <laughs> I could cause a distraction. <laughs> Just tell me if you want that. I mean, can you distract all of them? You gonna set the tent on fire? <laughs> no, but I could fly. Um. I'm a, oh, go ahead. Hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just like if he. I, <laughs> I don't think he could make enough distraction. I don't trust the owners. <laughs> I don't want them to hurt Candlefoot and Bellagio. I mean, I could do. I can't do a lot of magic, but I can do kind of a bit. And it doesn't have to be big or explodey or anything, but, it, you know, I could, I could get some people to look at me. Maybe enough to take your, uh, their eyes off you and Miss Palasha. Besides, I, I, there's just the trapeze artist I see here. I don't see a lot of things can fly around or anything, and... You know. If you want to, go for it. I don't guarantee how much information we can get right now. I mean, you just tried to to set up uh, like a date or proposal, but uh, okay. Yeah, but you see a stink eye she gave me? (laughs) (laughs) You didn't tell her who. (laughs) Something's fishy and it's not just her. Just, just tell her Candlefoot sent you. It's fine. Make, uh, <laughs> make a wisdom check. Just a general wisdom check, please, Moist. Me? Okay. Wisdom. Use my brain. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're 
you're, you're still under the thought that you know, maybe better just better like watch what you say just be, be careful hard to help you out I appreciate it Freddie but there's just too much going on right now I'm afraid they could get hurt or you could get hurt save that magic for kicking ass <laughs> so, I mean it's literally just a light spell but okay <laughs> But she swings back around again, singing like, you notice that she she is like keeping her eye on you. She doesn't look like aggressive or mean or anything like that. But she she's keeps like looking your way. Um, and now she's her attention's kind of pulled between singing, um, keeping an eye on you and occasionally looking up to where Candlefoot is. Um, and one of the times you see her look at Candlefoot and look back at you and she makes a little bit of a softer face and she takes one hand while she's singing something and and does like the thumping up on her chest. So I'm going to lean against the bowl, but like turn my head away. Like I'm not actually looking at her, like not watching. Mm -hmm. And every time she circles around, I'll be like, I'm (laughs) here (laughs) to help (laughs) you. (laughs) Um... Yeah, so you hear, you hear, uh, in the middle of singing, you can hear her crack a little bit. Like she slips ever so slightly as a, a little giggle works its way through there. Um, and as she goes by the next time, uh, she just gives like a slow nod in your direction. Okay, so so she's I, got a, a, an actual smile on her face this time. So I, I won't interact with her anymore right now. Um, I would like to just go move closer to Grumpy Butt. And <laughs> grumpy just kinda, Butt. Just kind of keep an eye on him, and that's all I'm going to do right now. And by Grumpy Butt, you mean uh, Mr. Witch? Yup. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Freddy, you were just eating some popcorn? Are you following along with Moist Milk, or are you hanging out behind? Because... Uh, Mr. Pork is going to kind of follow behind. Uh, just want to say, your singing voice is just wonderful. Um, doll. Um, so, Palasha looks at you and gives you a little nod as, as in, thank you. Um, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I wait. I sp- you see two little red buns bouncing along in the the <laughs> outside of the ring to the end there. It's milk. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <not> cookie. <laughs> oh, cookie. I can go for some cookies. <laughs> uh, Albie's just hanging out. We've got Sarah you know, watching. Uh, so Al- Albert, hey, you guys. Yes. Um, <laughs> what is Albert doing over here in front of the? The uh, fire show, the pyro. Um, he's gonna turn to Sarah and ask Sarah, "I can't see too well from down here. Do you mind if I perch on your shoulder?" Oh no, not at all. Go ahead. Oh, very good. So I'm just gonna hop up on, fly up onto Sarah's her shoulders, and just kind of sit up there. Okay. Yeah, you have a, a bit better view. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check up here. All right. Uh, a 19 um, you'll see um, you'll see Moist Milk and Freddy and Sir Lovey Pork kind of um, go up behind all the performers that you're watching like they they uh, kind of amble up from the far side and they seem to be watching uh, the, the kind of heavier individual um, here uh, you can see the the one that you've been told about with the the, the big uh, bugbear that wears the pumpkin on his head. Surely this could there there can't be anyone else that matches that description, right? There can't be any other giant bugbears with pumpkins on their head here, huh? Um, so you see that individual over there, um, and you definitely from sitting up high is uh, I think I think uh, Sarah's a pretty big, right? Well over six yeah, foot. I think she's like six foot. 
Yeah. I don't remember the exact height. But yeah, she's over six there. foot. So I think you'd have a, a pretty good view uh, further down Albert. You'd see uh, Palasha um, singing at the far end. Um, yeah. Okay, to so see Burley. I guess I'll ask uh, Sarah if she wants to go see Burley. Oh, yeah, point them out. We can go. Oh, over here. Okay. So when you guys... You guys start walking that way, and um, before you guys get up uh, too far towards Burley, I'll jump over to Maz and Lev. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to join with them. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, Maz and Lev, what are you up to? Uh, i just kind of been stand and watch and see Maz kind of come up and oh hey Maz you you doing a little stalking too oh hello uh I guess we could call it that um are we gonna go talk to him and he's gonna point over to Burley yeah I mean I guess that's probably the guy right I don't see any other pumpkin heads around yeah, I think is probably probably him Should we go? Yeah, you know what? Let's go. I've been I've been sneaking enough around. Let's go. Okay. What is Burley doing right now? By the way, uh, he's he's pretty much just back there, like picking up and moving things around. Like he's you guys watched his performance um, earlier and uh, towards the end of last episode, where he was uh, essentially doing presses with a big bar with goblins attached to either side, like they were a barrel full of monkeys. Uh, there are mm-hmm. goblins just hanging off of each other's feet as he was walking up on the stairs doing this press with uh, lines of goblins hanging down off either end of this pole. Um, so he's he's gone back and he's now assisting some of the other acts and um, doing some of the prep work. Uh, and he's, he's essentially like the, the heavy object lifter. Hmm. Okay. I was looking through my notes a little bit. Um, I guess if there's like a clear path to him, then mozzarella start going that way, I, I reckon. Okay. Um, let's see. Just a second. read the wrong thing. There we go. Um, so, Burley sees you guys uh, coming up, and you you don't see so much of an expression as you do kind of like the whole pumpkin head kind of turn at an angle. Um, you, you hear muffled from inside of this, this large pumpkin mask helmet thing of uh, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be back this far. Oh, I'm not? How come? Well, this is for uh, performers and stage acts only, please. Oh, um, but uh, what if uh, we want to talk to you? Well, I would think that there's better times to do it than in the middle of a show. <gasps> <laughs> when would that be? Uh, oh, pretty much any time not in the middle of the show. Oh, um, so <laughs> should we like schedule an appointment <laughs> about 30 minutes or just, you know, uh, I'm just standing around really awkward, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no appointment necessary. It's. Simply, I don't wish for anyone to be hurt. You can see there's this kind of a hustle and bustle. As he says that, he, he jumps out of the way um, as a, a handful of the goblin fire jugglers all like, you know, they're, they're essentially clowns too. They're, they kind of bounce and roll past him, like heading towards the, the back of the tent here. Um, I see this is a very busy place and um, I worry for little ones such as yourself. And he looks at you, Maz, to... Uh, 
uh, I wouldn't want you to get hurt and accidentally stampeded by some of the, the acts that we have here. They're on a very tight schedule. And you see, as he says uh, the tight schedule, he looks over towards Mr. Witch's direction. Then almost on cue, you see uh, Mr. Witch like slamming the timepiece shut and, and putting it back in his pocket with a big sigh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, in our defense, there was no sign saying we could, unless there was, and I didn't read them, and that's on me. <laughs> <laughs> you you uh, take a look around, Lev, and there is a sign uh, a little ways behind you. Can't read the back of it, but there is a sign there. <laughs> um, Oops. <laughs> you know, we'll come back. Well, <laughs> when you're done, I'm just and I'll just back up, I guess. <laughs> Uh, Maz? Um, um, where, where could we talk to you? Is, is it easy to find you after show? Oh, wait for everyone to clear out and I'll meet you right here. Once everything is, is died down a bit. <gasps> okay, I, I, I'll be back then. And he starts to walk away. Uh, and he's like, oh, oh wait, wait, I forgot. I'm mozzarella, like the chi. I'll be back. A pleasure to meet you, Maz. I'm Burly. Oh, very nice to meet you. He gives a little wave and uh, he, he turns his attention back to, to trying to help like guide uh, the back of the show to where it's supposed to be. Um, and while this is happening, since we've, we've kind of gotten around to everybody, um, you've seen a few different acts go on, like... Uh, like a, a pair of elf children thinking they can do some some really neat archery tricks, and uh, <laughs> one one does uh, a pretty decent job with a little short bow. It skips an arrow off the ground and pops up and hits a balloon that's a, a few feet up off the ground. Uh, the other one tries to replicate it and just completely botches the trick and sends some of the performers diving for cover to get out of the way. Um, you see a couple human kids, uh, like, like kind of rustling on there, being little, little shitheads, um, like pushing and shoving each other. And after a bit of goading, their parents kind of finally force them to, uh, to do like their actual like act in heavy, heavy, heavy air quotes there. Um, and the one says he can do a really sweet trick and he runs up and gives a short little kick and performers kind of look around, like waiting for something Doesn't. else. And and everybody like looks at does this like half clap, uh, <laughs> not quite sure. Um, even Mister Light has got his head kind of turned sideways, and he's easily the most like like buoyant, vibrant one here. And uh, he's he looks a little perplexed by that one. Um, you see um, a tiefling child. Um, what's on the best one so far? Where um, says um watch this and he, you see like a sudden ball of darkness appear for just a couple seconds and the same child bounces back out of the ball of darkness uh, wearing completely different clothes uh still has the butterfly wings attached and and that one actually gets a little like round of applause from everybody and the the performers are actually like pretty impressed with that and then uh as the uh the one bounces out you see another one slip out the back wearing the exact same clothes is what he went in with. Um, you see uh, Mr. Light kind of dancing, parading around the, the middle ring. Uh, the he's, he's very animated with that scepter, kind of waving it around and, and doing these, these big flourishes and stuff with it. Is, is there anybody else? Are there not any more acts? Anybody else that, that wishes to perform in front of such a grand audience? Ooh. Oh my god. Are we gonna <laughs> perform? Someone's gotta perform. You don't have to, but it's an we opportunity for you to. all do it as like a big, a big group. group. Yeah. So, uh, did you guys plan anything outside uh, outside the game? Hell no! no. Nope. We don't do ever it. plan anything. <laughs> <laughs> Improvise! What Perfect. if like Sarah and Lavana? Juggled like the three owls <laughs> while Mothra oh. and Moist played some kind of terrible song. Yeah, we could try it. <laughs> Unless so, somebody has any ideas for it. 
if anybody has any ideas. Yeah, you guys can can discuss and, and come up with something. Discuss. Well, I should say, um, <clears throat> I, is are Moist Milk and Freddy going to come back around and like join the group? Or are you guys just hanging out back there? Because that would play into it. I mean, if I see our peeps going up there, she can't resist with her gladiator background. It's true. Oh, yeah, I, I would imagine that you guys would get together, except for uh, the only other one I would question is maybe Elby. You know, how yeah. I, if my strength was better, I'd be tempted just to swoop in and grab the dude and be like, we'll do it. But I, I, I'm not strong, so I'm just going to keep following the dude. Oh, oh, like you were going to force the elf into performing with you? <laughs> Is that what you're getting at? Mm. Or did Actually, you mean you someone else? No, you know what? Why not? No, no, you guys have something do going it. on. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Do we don't really do have it. anything going yeah, on. We, don't have, yeah, we some, have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing <laughs> set. For each other, one of us to go okay, first. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll uh, I'll swoop over to the shoulders of the guy and uh, just kind of clasp my uh, lower talons on and kind of clasp my hand around his shoulder and be like, "We'll do it." <laughs> okay, and I'll just kind of whisper <laughs> yes. saying, and I'll just I'll, and I'll just whisper him saying, "If you know what's good for you, you'll do what I'll say." <laughs> okay, so so two things here, Alwi. Um, I need you to make a, an intimidation or persuasion check. Hmm. What's it going to be? Intimidation. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> well, it's going gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna to be a straight roll because I have no proficiency in, in either. Oh, no. okay. You can do it, man. <laughs> But Brunt, let's, let's see how this goes. Which one are you Not choosing? This. You know what? Just, just for fun, I'm just to make an intimidation. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hey. So, <laughs> so you go you over, the grunt. Uh, yell out, the, "We'll do it," and then try to hurry up and, and whisper something to the, this elf individual. And a, a couple things happen. So your talons uh, go to touch the shoulder and they sink in like way further than you were thinking. And you, you feel actual like thick feathers beneath you. You don't feel like you're kind of expecting, a, um, you know, like a meaty like shoulder up there or maybe some clothing. You actually just feel like a just ball of feathers under each talon. Um, mm. And even at that, when you go to sink your talons in, as you're leaning down, uh, the things pretty quickly just pulls right away from you. Um, it whips back around. Uh, it looks at you and says, well, who are you? And takes a few <laughs> steps backwards. Um, Mr. Light is kind of addressing you. He says, oh, uh, please, please, don't don't assault other members of the audience. We won't have that here. This is supposed to be a joyous, joyous occasion, a festive environment. And he, he turns his attention back to everything else that's happening. Albie's dumbfounded. Mm. He's like pointing, being like, "Is it Kanku? Uh, <laughs> huh? Um. So make. Let's see. Oh God." What have I done? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> uh, so we all die. I wasn't supposed to be touched by anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm supposed to have a stat block. It's not in here. Why is it not in here? Um, okay. We're just going to roll. So I'm just going to do right inside the founder here. Um, he kills Abby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was not supposed to be... Uh, Burly selected there. Uh, but a three. Um, go ahead and roll. Yeah, go ahead and roll an insight check. Ooh. Oh, God. I'm going to feel like an ass. <laughs> this isn't even one you happens. asked for this time. Boom. Okay. 18. Uh, when you say Kenku and it, it like pulls back and looks up for a second, you see the the facade kind of just flicker as like a, a wipe, like a wave almost going across it. And you see a very surprised looking, um, like crow like face looking back at you before the, the illusion kind of comes back over it. Mm. (laughs) 
Other group. Uh, what are you guys doing over there? What's your plan? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's a talent show. Should we all go up and show talents? What are we going to do? What are we going to do for our talents? I don't know. Just whip something out on the spot. <laughs> so much, so much phrasing. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that, that was bad. <laughs> I'm an owl. I don't have one of those. Well, what do you guys think? What do you think? What do you want to do for the show? Moist Milk's gonna walk towards the stage, but she's gonna come up behind. This is Mr. Which what is this? Uh, Mr. Witch is the bigger one, and Mr. Light is the, the taller, skinny one. Which is beefy, light weighs light. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Demonic device. <laughs> so is he still, like, looking at his watch and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Hey, don't eat that. It's time consuming, and then she's going to go up on the stage. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, he just kind of like uh, looks uh, over uh, one uh, shoulder. Great. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so boy. Moist Milk's wandering yes. up on the stage by herself. Um, Mozzarella will go up too. He doesn't fully grasp what exactly is going on because he can't hear, but he gets the idea that people were supposed to be doing something. Like he saw like the kids going up there and doing stuff. Yeah, the, he's gonna go up there with voice smoke. The kids' little short kick. <laughs> yeah, I could do a kick. Okay. <laughs> um, is anyone else joining them up on the stage? Uh, I, I would like to ask Miss Lev. Miss Lev, do you have any talents? Uh, well, not really. Uh, <laughs> I, I hopped down, down off of Sarah and I'll grab her hand. Come, come, come. Show talents. No, all right. <laughs> I, just, I want to use was that, to digitation. Was that a to, no, all right? <laughs> yeah, kind no, of. All Amazing. Right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry, Freddy. What's your, uh, what's your press to digitation for? Uh, to clean Moist Milk's outfit. Okay. And to... Like I'll count the seconds, Excuse and after me. six seconds pass by, I'll like use it again to give her like a a sparkly effect as she like every footfall is just uh, a shower of sparks. Oh, okay, okay, that's awesome. Um, let's see. So. When you do your performance check, Moist Milk, you will have advantage on yours. Ooh. Thank you, Freddy. All right. Um, nice. I'm here for you. Mr. Light steps back with another flourish with his wand there. And uh, as you guys are a little bit closer, this, um, it, it looks kind of like a, uh, kind of weather vane almost. A weather vane. Does it twirl? <laughs> do it twirl? Do it do a twirl? Do a barrel roll. That do is roll. not the right picture. Are well, you looking for a picture? Is I was. Cute? I was trying to show you guys the. Uh, mm. No picture. Yeah, I want to see what they look like. I do too. I saw the little figures a long time ago the minis but i forgot what they look like there we go oh oh my this is who you're walking up to oh his staff looks so. like a thing from hogwarts game <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> the little twirly moth thing sorry adhd be quiet <laughs> oh i see it. yeah <laughs> she said that i just kind of like immediately had the image of you just disappearing around a corner <laughs> <laughs> okay um, so yeah, this is the this is Mr. Light who you guys are talking to. Um, uh, he sees you all come up and he says, "Oh, what is this? Is is this a, a group act? A group performance? I I welcome you. I I cannot wait to see what you have in store." And he he gives a bow like this very low, uh, deep bow. With arms swing wide out to the side, and he's just bending like in half doing this thing. Uh, and he backs up and he says. Uh, Wait, uh, 
Should I introduce you guys as, as, as a name? Are you a group? It's okay if you're not. The badasses. <laughs> yes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It's as good a name as anyone else. <laughs> um, we all, are you going with the badasses? <laughs> the badasses. <laughs> if there's nothing else, I guess that's what we are. I mean, yeah. if anybody has a name, go for it. I was just. You guys don't have to throw a name out there. He's just he's just asking. Hmm. I don't know what our name would be. The Dinguses. Dinguses. Yes. <laughs> so that's Andy's favorite word. The Milketeers. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so terrible. Oh, God. The milking tears? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it's it's getting one each more. one's just worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, he says, it's okay. It's okay. I don't, I don't want to force a name upon you. Please go ahead. Uh, and he gestures back to everybody. His voice is louder again. He says, uh, give it up for the next act we have before us. And he gestures back towards you guys. What is your act? Uh, this unplanned, everybody just walk up onto the stage separately act that you have going on here. This is uh, real life, my worst nightmare. <laughs> this would be my worst nightmare, too. And I dragged you into it, Lev. I'm sorry. No, Lev's no. fine with it. She's awkward, but, uh, yeah. Beanie sweating, IRL. Yeah. Beanie sweating. <laughs> oh, no. Moist Milk is just gonna yell. Attention, everyone! The greatest act on Spit Earth! Spit everywhere. I, I guess we're not on Earth. Uh, uh, the, where are we? <laughs> Faerun. Faerun, yeah. Faerun. <laughs> the greatest act of Faerun. And she puts out her bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> Presenting. <laughs> and she does like a little curtsy and then points, put, puts her hand out to like Maz to like let him come up and do something. Uh, uh, fast thinking. Um, he's going to hit the ground and barrel roll all the way up in front of her and when he stands up he's gonna have his kalimba and his little paws and uh I, I don't know I guess he'll just play a little like a little Oh, like that a show yeah. that comes with its own music this is amazing um uh, you hear Mr. Light. What an introduction. I can't wait to see what comes next. Oh, there's got to be something else. Oh, uh. <laughs> it's a group act uh. and everybody just makes Moz play an instrument and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we all bow and go down. <laughs> um, um. Uh, Lev runs up behind them as they're playing music and she kind of just starts making these big weird arm gestures that she's not really sure if she's going with at first. <laughs> and then she reaches into her sleeve and pulls out the dancing lights wand that she got earlier and just makes it go pew. <laughs> just one little <laughs> pew. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we have music. We have the, the dancing lights going on. Um, what else is happening in this absolute sh show of uh, performance here? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, I guess I'm sparkling. I'm just going to be twirling my, my uh, whip that's made out of my hair. Just doing like radio tricks. <laughs> oh with my it. god. Mozzarella will be jump roping her hair if she's <laughs> looping it around. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> if that's if that's what's happening, this is separate from your, your overall performance thing. Moz, I need a uh, an athletics or acrobatics check from you to uh, to play your kalimba <laughs> while you're doing this. <laughs> oh, let's see. Acrobatics or athletics? Yep. Hmm. Acrobatics or athletics? Acrobatics, I guess. With a grunt. Ooh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah! All right. The post grunt works. So it was a seventeen total. Um, so Maz looks like he's he's like kind of stumbling around, like trying to play while he's he's jumping this hair rope, which is just disgusting to say. Um, <laughs> he's successful. He's he's doing fine. Uh, Sarah and Albert, you were watching just this like weird mess happening up on stage. <laughs> there's there's numerous things going on at once. What are you guys doing over here? And Freddie, are you partaking in this? Or oh no, you you supplied the uh, 
the sparks for moist milk. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping the sparks up with uh, moist milk's movements. Okay, that's fair. All right, Sarah and uh, Albert. Uh, 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 I never did this before, but uh, <laughs> hey, could you light these torches for me? There's three of them. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Um, oh, man. I'll look at the audience, <laughs> I guess, and say, uh, as you may know, Owls regurgitate pellets of bone and fur after a meal. I can ignite these pellets in my throat and hop them with great extreme accuracy and velocity. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was all. Oh my gosh, I love <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm laughing because of where this is going. <laughs> uh, Continue. Yes. So, Albert will, I guess, uh, step back. Mm -hmm. How far? How far back? <laughs> oh, uh, like 10, 10 feet. Okay. I'm gonna, back hold the, 10 feet. I'm gonna hold the torches up high and uh, <laughs> I'll uh, pull back my scarf and reveal the bandolier of dried mice and then I'll pull one off and I'll tilt back my head and swallow it whole okay you hear him ooh like it's from the crowd <laughs> <laughs> as it's in my throat um, I'll, uh, you'll start to see my throat start to glow red and then I'll Basically, say the words Dokarugi! And then that flaming mouse will shoot out of my mouth and shoot towards uh, one of the torches. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make an attack roll against the torch. Just All right. Real low, but I like the idea of what could happen here if you mess this up. Uh, okay. <laughs> the first one lights. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing this you're doing this three times um oh hey, you got three torches yeah <laughs> I'll do it one more time <laughs> uh, alright this one lands yeah. with a dirty 20 and see the last second torch lights up on the last one um Albert's going to just swirl his hand about and make one of the flames on the torch uh, appear to look like a like a flaming little ballerina. Mm -hmm. And then it will leap off uh, one of the torches onto the last uh, non-burning torch and light that one. All right. What's this one? What's uh, what are you using for this? Oh, control flames. Perfect. All right. So you cause one flame to... Uh, bounce up and give a little uh, ballerina spin. It sticks one leg out and leaps off the other one and lands nimbly into the other torch and it, it looks like it melts down into the torch before flames shoot up and light the third one. <laughs> Excellent! So Sarah, you now have three lit torches. Juggle! Juggle! Look at that! The accuracy! <laughs> the precision! <laughs> the magician! <laughs> and then she's going to start to try to juggle. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, at this point, yes. I need uh, everyone that partook to do a performance check. Um, okay. Moist Milk, Maz, and Sarah uh, will all be rolling with advantage on this. Oh, advantage for I need it. <laughs> I need it. Can I save my advantage for something different? In a moment? Uh, this is this is part of the group check. Okay. Uh, 20, 14, 12, 16. Oh, oh. Okay. Can I do advantage on it then, or no? Advantage on yours, yeah. Okay. Your performance did check. Did I roll here. with advantage? Uh, oh, with yeah, you did. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, somehow, this goes <laughs> off without a hitch. Everything is, is done in... Um, uh, it's off time. It's not really together, but <laughs> as a whole, as a whole, your guys's weird piecemeal performance kind of goes off. You have uh, Maz jumping a hair rope, uh, playing the kalimba. Uh, Moist milk is sparkling as she's rolling her weird hair lasso around for Maz to jump through. Um, and uh, Levy it, it, in the middle of this, or Levana, sorry, is. Uh, it just gives a singular, like, smallish firework up, pew, up over and behind them. 
That's the best part. While, the best part of the whole show. <laughs> while Albert is um, igniting the three torches for uh, for Sarah, uh, Sarah adds her own little touch to it, gives a little boost to the performance. Um, you guys get a, a hearty round of applause from everybody. Um, did you have Yay. something you wanted to add on to the end of this moist melt? I better not. <laughs> oh, now that you know what happened, you don't want to ruin it. No. Do it. Yeah, it was lovely. I don't want to. I, I don't want to anger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, you, you hear Mr. Light from the side. Just he's clapping like a maniac. He's I, I've never seen a more chaotic, uh, better performed group ensemble. That's that was unplanned, right? He kind of leans in towards you, Moist Melt. <laughs> Oh, we're professional. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. That was that was magnificent all around. Uh, please, applause. Uh, he's got his arms out wide, just begging for more applause from everyone. And you, you see people start to give a standing ovation to your guys' ridiculous shit here. And, uh, <laughs> Our ridiculous <laughs> shit. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Maz. Wow. wow. Looking up towards Moist Milk, uh, you see one of the trapeze uh, performers is up th- up top, up above you, like, I don't know, probably 30 feet up or so, just like scratching their head and sh- shaking their head at the same time, like completely unsure as to what they've just witnessed. <laughs> um, but their partner up there is sitting next to him on the swing, just just laughing like a maniac and just just cracking up, clapping. Um it seems like everybody had a good time watching your, your ridiculousness here. That's all that matters is that there was joy. <laughs> Amaz. Love's taking way too much credit. She's doing like a parade wave, like. Oh, like the, the Barbie hand? <laughs> yeah, the yeah, Barbie yeah. hand wave. <laughs> okay. So, um. Perfect. You guys, um. You guys, while you're there, like front and center, um, some of you might be a little nervous with this, uh, like being the, the center of attention here in the middle of a packed ass large tent. Um, you guys notice that like the overall spirit of everything here um, seems to pick up some more with your your just random routine here. Um, everything seems more lively after your standing ovation. Like it, it doesn't really die down. Like that excitement level stays here. Um, Mr. Light uh, motions for you guys to follow him and he follow or he um, wanders over to the, uh, the back of the stage. Um, he goes and, and hangs out back here. Uh, again, like motioning for all of you guys to follow him. Mm. Um, is it's, wonderful wonderful performance honestly that's uh that brought a smile even to it to my uh, my face and i've seen just about everything you can imagine like that that child's kick what was that i don't understand um <laughs> uh, but anyways um uh, my associate here burley uh he i'll leave him to uh, tell you the instructions for later on uh, we would uh love to have you back uh, a little bit later, mayhaps, and uh, please do enjoy the remainder of the of the carnival. Uh, there's only a, a a few hours left in our show tonight, but I do hope you'll enjoy all, all the rest of it. And Maz, behind you, you hear a loud like snap sound as a uh, <laughs> as I give you guys flashbacks to the goblins. I don't um, think he would hear that though. Oh, that's right, that's right, <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, you hear a large snap coming from over your right shoulder. Um, it's like a loud metallic snapping sound. And uh, if, it, if it would get your attention, you would see uh, Mr. Witch giving just a, an annoyed huff before he, he turns and uh, walks away. He kind of brushes past you guys. Um, he doesn't run into anybody, but he, uh, he goes, makes his way, his way into the very backmost tent here. The, uh, seems like the only exit in the other than the front one. And do we piss him off or something? Hmm. No, he did it like a performance. And so Mr. Light's still here? Yeah. Moist milk is going to be all sticky sweet. Mr. Light, 
It is such an honor and a pleasure <laughs> to meet you in person. And she's going to try to curtsy, but she's not used to her legs and she just falls on her forehead. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, be careful, please. I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Stupid legs. Um, still kind of a lot of people watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So. You see two I, goblins roll out in front of you and do like a ta-da before they run away. <laughs> what is that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Acting. It's it's gob stereo <laughs> in big green. <laughs> so he was bringing us over to Burley. Yeah. Thank you for directing us to Sir Burley. We appreciate you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Which which one were you talking to, Mr. Light? Okay. Uh, it's just, it's just my pleasure. Please, um, I would like to, to speak to you again. Uh, maybe get some pointers on your performance. It gives you a little wink. Um, he says, that, as I've mentioned, uh, my associate here, Burley, be, uh, he'll tell you the rest of the details for I must get back to the show. Uh, he pulls his hat off and you see his, his smooth head underneath and he gives you a nice big bow before he plops it back on and takes off with these wild motions of his, his uh, scepter thing that he's got going on. Um, he gets just past your group before he cartwheels back into the, the center stage and he directs everyone's attention back over to Palasha. Um, before we finish up with you guys, uh, Albie, what you up to? Okay, so, oh God. So I say thank you, and the guy's like, "What do you want?" Basically, uh, oh God. Yeah. So this would be kind of in the middle of the the performance. There, you, you have some people distracted. Yeah. Um, you do. You would have an idea that that Mr. Light is probably you know, since he's addressed you already is, um, uh, keeping a bit of an eye on you. All right. Um, oh, God. Jeez. Oh, okay. I don't know how to conduct this. Oh, I had the sneaking down, but not the not the interrogation. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the dog chasing the car. Yeah. I don't know what to do when you catch it. What do if I caught it? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> so, what was it with that bit? The bit with you just you kept changing. Um, it wasn't changing. What do you mean? Do I have to make a check or do I know he's ball face lying to me? Um, uh, you know what you I saw. No All right. I heard I almost I lost my accent. <laughs> You're good. Jeez. Recover. You got this, man. Uh, you got this. Yeah, you got it. Oh god! Sorry, nerves. Okay. Okay. Uh, I feel you. Oh god! You don't what know do what I to do. Stab him! Damn it! <laughs> no, I got eyes on me. <laughs> that seems like it's Just against the rules. Do the Joker magic trick. <laughs> uh, here's the disappearing sword. No. Uh, <laughs> where to go? He's <laughs> clean. And it's, uh, okay. It's uh, gone. <laughs> geez. Uh, okay. D -d -d Don't lie to me. I, 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 I saw you. You were, you were an elf for a second, and then uh, you was, you were human. Or you were human, then you were an elf, and then now you're all feathery. I, I. I promise I don't know uh, what you mean. I'm just uh, a fine... Uh, you can see it look down at its hands. A uh, human man. <laughs> <laughs> human. <laughs> All right. I'm Okay, I'm just going to have my hands up in a non-threatening way, and I'm just going to just lean in and say, If you're in trouble, you can let me know, but I've been seeing some really weird shit all around the place. <laughs> So I'm, I'm on a level. So I need you to level with me. So um, you say that, but you're also aware that this thing just said it's a human man and it's, it's uh, very clearly an elf. Like it's definitely sporting the elf ears and looks just like the other elves that he that it, that it passed. 
um, trying to blend in with the crowd. Um, <clears throat> it looks at you and says, I'm in no trouble. Why, why, why would you think I'm in trouble? I'm fully capable Question. of defending does, myself anyway. Does, does this uh, individual have uh, the fairy wings that was distributed out to everybody? Uh, it does. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> poke him. Poke him. So, poke him. so you're a part of the carnival, eh? Fine. Okay. Never uh, said I was, no. Geez. But then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna gesture my hand, pointing like I'm in the way, so nobody would really see it except for him, but I'm just gonna point to the direction where Mr. Light was saying. He said you were a part of the carnival. But now you're saying you're not, but you shape shifted in front of me. Now you're saying you're a human, but you don't look too human. You see a blush go across the uh the elf's uh Face, um, and you can see one hand reach into a, the opposite sleeve and pull something out, and kind of like flicks it your direction. You see the the air right in front of you um, kind of glitters as a uh, something small explodes, and like some little gas with a uh, little flex in it um, burst out. Uh, I need you to make mm-hmm. a a Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, oh God! Okay, grunt, grunt. do it with the beanie grunt. Do the power grunt. <laughs> the beanie grunt. Yeah. Channel oh, wait, the beanie. One. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the beanie. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> it was too much. It was too much. So you're too you're looking at him. You need to dial my grunt back. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking at this elf, uh, trying to like just meticulously scrutinize like. Uh, you know you've seen other features like you know your talons like squished in on feathers instead of like a, a meaty like muscular shoulder like you were expecting a little little stiffer thing to land on there and, and it wasn't and as you're you're looking at that you see the this little ball of, of gas explode right in front of you uh your eyelids get heavy and as lv sinks down into a small little slumber we're gonna go on a break Oh, oh. <laughs> no but um, before I switch over, before I switch <laughs> over and go on break, uh, I'm going to let everybody know, since we have uh, a few of them in the chat here, uh, the Dirty Rollers is going to go on our second little streaming adventure in the nearest future. Um, looking at the third Monday of June, that would be uh, June 19th, I believe, uh, to start uh, learning a new system. And we're going to run through the uh, Pathfinder beginner box for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. And uh, it's going to be myself uh, DMing with a few friends of the stream. These are fellow DMs, uh, all of them, that have little to no experience with Pathfinder 2nd Edition whatsoever. So uh, the rest of our crew will be Mr. Rev Eldridge here. Uh, so very twisted here in chat. Uh, we have another friend of the channel in um, Uska. She will be joining us, as will Nikki from Nikki Nerds Out. And I think uh, Lady Masella is going to uh, give them all some shout outs here. Um, yes, yes, you are, Rev. You're not getting out of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll be going through and um, playing through. It's a, it's a short little adventure. It should be around four episodes worth of content there uh and i'm really excited to learn pathfinder and super excited to be in a game with all these uh awesome folks here uh they're all super good people they all have very fun chill streams um go check them out give them a follow if you're not following them uh drop in there say hi see what they're all about and uh yeah that's our, our little announcement for tonight before we we head over to head over to our break and we'll see you guys back here in about five to ten minutes. Uh, everybody can go to the bathroom and grab a snack real fast. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Break. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and we're back <laughs> Joe 
Joe. <laughs> for the pee pee. <laughs> Joe was up for the pee pee. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> He had to have that like ready and waiting. There's no way he was reacting to the the pee pee oh, with that. Oh, thank you, Joe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at that <laughs> with the pee 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 pee. Yeah, we had quite the conversation on break. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we are back. We're gonna get back into it, and um, yeah, we're getting to to, to interesting interesting things here so uh we, right before we went on break um albie albie took a little nap as uh the, the kenku in front of him uh looking like a an elf uh threw some kind of gas at him and made him go to sleepy sleep oh he's just a sleepy <coughs> little owl albie your your eyes get real droopy um you start wobbling around and slow enough that you're able to uh, to kind of catch yourself and lay down, but you can't, for the life of you, keep your eyes awake and you take a little nap. Um, talk, sleep. What else is really watching? So no one sees LB. Um, the rest of the group over there, uh, Freddy. What are you doing? You're kind of you're kind of off on your own at the moment. <clears throat> um, do I see Albie from where I am? Um, you would have to make a perception check with a pretty high DC to see him. You can try. You can do it. I believe. It. Perception. Perception. Uh, ITC, I'm doing it. Power grunt. Uh, nah. You you oh. kind of lose sight of him. <laughs> and to to Freddy, like you're used to seeing Albie kind of blend into crowds here at the carnival in the, the like four or five hours you've been here. Um, so you're not really surprised you don't see him. And uh, Rev, thanks for hanging out, dude. Have a good dinner. Have a good night. Um, Bye, Rev. Bye, Rev. Rev. But yeah, there's. Goodbye. I don't think Freddy would really be worried for not seeing Albie because he's used to seeing Albie disappear here. Mm. But I'll leave it up to you. Um. Hmm. Did I just start my long rest with this thing now? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I figured I'd try. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh. I know it probably won't affect the score too much, especially with an 11, but uh, can I just start? How how high is the like the top of the big top? Um, so the the trapeze artists are like 30 feet up. It's probably another maybe like 10 feet up higher than that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go up about 25 feet or so. Look down. Okay. Um, and just to make it look like I'm part of the act, I'll just uh, I will take my frying pan out and light it up with the light spell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Freddy's looking like a lighthouse up here. Pretty much. Um, <laughs> Imagine your pan just... is like a big lens. <laughs> And uh, just kind of every once in a while, press and digitate a little, a little bit of lightning coming from the pan, okay. uh, as well as the light itself. And I'm just kind of scanning the crowd, looking for, because I know where everyone is. I'm just looking for Albie. Yeah. So you go up there and look around, and there's there's still a lot of people here. Um, you don't see Albie anywhere. Uh, It definitely um, doesn't help that we saw that we saw somebody get kidnapped right before we went in here too. <laughs> yeah, one person did, right? Yeah, yeah. But then, then I did. T I think I told them about it when we went in. I can't remember. I think so. Yeah, I think you did. You did. The sneaky shit at the carnival. So you're up there looking around. You, you don't see Elby. Um, 
I mean, you can see the rest of the group easy enough. Uh, you, you can see um, Sir Levy Pork. Uh, just he's he just got done watching this whole like batshit crazy performance, and he's just doing a big old belly laugh um, down below. Uh, he, he's even going so far as to like break his his like gentlemanly like appearance he's he's kind of seems like he's pretty stoic and but he's doubled over like actually slapping his knee uh in laughter here <laughs> um and you do see the rest of your group talking to uh mr light before he kind of uh gives that that big old bow and the cartwheels over to the middle again you see him head out that way um then you see the rest of your group kind of um huddle up around this this large uh hulking individual it looks like a jack-o'-lantern on its head i will land next to mr pork and uh ah, excuse me i don't mean to be very forward about this i'll grab his hand and uh lead him over to moist milk um miss milk oh, oh. yes oh. um I didn't see Albie anywhere. Like, oh, shit. Any, anywhere, anywhere. Sneak and stab? Yeah. <laughs> um, is it? Uh, hi, Sarah. Are you feeling better? Oh, yeah, much better now. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> um, you, you didn't happen to see Albie on your way in, did you? Uh, no, now that you mention it, I don't think I did. Oh, God. <laughs> You don't think he got kidnapped, do you? Oh, you bring up a good point. There's a lot of that going around. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Did he take his wings off? I don't know. Ah, shit. The last time any of you guys saw Elby, he still had his wings on for sure. Well, he does like to sneak around. So maybe he's right... And she tries to qu- turn around really quick. But. <laughs> <laughs> that was too fast. <laughs> oh, just, there's there's nothing there. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> she just scared the living shit out of some little kobold kid that was eating uh, a little bit of cotton candy. <laughs> Keep you on your toes. And she turns back around. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear some angry uh, chattering behind you as a kobold mom is is most likely giving you an earful, but you, you don't speak uh, draconic or kobold or... <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we're talking. We're getting ready to talk to Burley. <gasps> well, I mean, we kind of need Albie for this. Yeah, we better go find him. So, um, as you guys are talking about that, um, Burley walks up to the whole group and he's he looks at uh, Lev and Maz first. Uh, well done. That was quite the performance. Uh, it's certainly entertaining. Can't say I've ever seen one quite like that. Um, uh, I'll also say that uh, they would like to speak to you about your performance. Uh, in fact, uh, and we didn't really look like it, but Mr. Witch, when he went huffing by me, uh, he's probably in the, the best mood I've seen him in in quite some time. <laughs> oh, oh, that's really? a good mood? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Huh. Uh, you haven't happened to see a third owl around, have you? Can't say I have. These other two, but, you know, same height. She's kind of doing the thing with her hand, how tall he is. <laughs> no, I, I don't believe so. Hmm. To be honest, I'm mostly focused on uh, not dropping any goblins. And, uh, <laughs> he points to the, the bar that he was doing the presses with or uh, making sure I don't step on any of the smaller performers or squish any of the smaller performers or squish really anyone back here. It's fairly busy, as you can see. Hmm. hmm so you were saying Mr. Witch wants to talk to us? Is that what he was saying? Um, they, they both would. Uh, Mr. Witch. Okay, Mr. they both do. Yeah. Okay. That's after Just the make show, sure. though, right? What's up? That's after the show, right? Like, not right now? 
Yeah, after the show. Um, you, you would know that Mr. Witch is back there and Mr. Light's still out, uh, kind of directing uh, the show still. Okay. Does, he looks to, to Levin Maz and he, he says, um, we can talk after uh, you talk to the bosses, if that's okay, if you still want to talk after that. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah, we got some important business with you. Unrelated to this business. Well, sort of, you know, whatever. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> it's kind of the same. Yeah. He's kind of looks a little bit surprised, but, you know, he's all right with that. Okay, well, we need to find our... I can't count. Our, our seventh, uh, they're <laughs> integral part of our performance, so I need to know. I'll be right back, and I'm going to try to start looking for Albie. Okay. Um, so go ahead and make a, an investigation check while you're looking around. Or perception, I'll leave it up to you. No, which is bad. Perception. <laughs> Boss. Oh, okay. He's looking around. Yeah. <laughs> I was going yeah. to ask you what you're doing. <laughs> so, Lev, adorable. If you'd like to to start walking around, like back towards the entrance. Um, so you get around, um, right about there, and you see a small little hooded figure, um pick itself up off the ground it was lying face down when you came around the corner there um and you see like there there's a little crowd like around this figure but they're not looking down at him they're all looking towards mr light uh, but you see this little figure um about the size of one of your owl friends um it, like try to push himself up off the ground you see him struggle a little bit and you, you see him push himself up and then sit over or like spin around sit on his butt and he's looking around um Albie it's only been about a minute this is not like a super strong um like permanent spell or anything like that it, it was just a, a little a little knockout gas to uh to put you to sleep for a quick minute um and you wake up kind of groggy eyed and you see love standing a, a little bit away from you Oh, Albie, are you all right? You get knocked over? Yeah, Someone Al- tried to take you out. <laughs> Al- Albie, Albie just wiping the temporary eye boogers out of his eyes like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, that's adorable. Uh, where are the others? Uh, this, might be it for, this might be important. I oh. almost had him. I almost had him. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get off and def- dust myself off. And uh, also... Even though I've been out for a short time, I am just going to make sure that I still have uh, my uh, uh, locket, my dagger, everything. Like, just, like, all the importance. Yeah, you give yourself a quick pat. Quick pat down. Uh, make sure all your stuff's there. Yeah, it seems like everything's there. Okay. I, I clutched the pendant just, like, a minute or two. But, yeah, uh, then I'll uh, I'll get back to... I'll, I'll, I'll follow Lev back to the group and just kind of tell her about the situation on the way. Found him. Oh, oh, oh brother! Hey, where were you? Oh, I, I had a bead on him, the Kanku, oh, whatever that bastard's name was. <laughs> At first, he was a human, and, and then he shifted. Look, he looked, he looked like an elf, but then there was like a weird shiver, and like looked like he had feathers, black feathers. And then, and I was following him, and then oh, Mr. Light, he said, "Oh, who wants to perform?" And I, I tried to I tried to snag him, and in the process, he uh, well, uh, I guess he looked a little different to Mr. Light. I guess Mr. Light didn't look through the disguise that well, and uh, he thought I was about to assault somebody. But then, then <laughs> it, okay, it basically just like blew something in my face. So I don't know if he just like threw, like I don't know what he threw in my face, but it was all dusty, and, and then you know I, I just felt sleepy, and then then I just woke up and. The love was, and yeah, that, that, that's about it. But that—that that was a kaiku. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? 
<laughs> gosh. Shifty little bastard. Do you see which way he went before he fell asleep? Yeah, uh, uh, no, it was pretty much uh, he reached in a pocket and he uh, well, it just right in my eyes. So and I didn't see a direction. I just kind of saw the, the, gr- the ground coming at me. So that was about it. So he could use like magic to hide himself. He could be anybody. Either that or he's the, either that or he's the Sandman. But I don't know. It looks more like a Kenku, not a Sandman. So <laughs> Sandman. It could even be one of us. <gasps> what if he's dun, me? Dun, dun. <laughs> what if he's Sarah? Me? <laughs> what if I'm him? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've made the group oh, no. distrust each other to the max. <laughs> Albert's just going to go around and start poking everybody. Oh, <laughs> can you? Can you? <laughs> so Albert did this turn into the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to bust out some uh, some petri dishes here. <laughs> or the faculty. Everyone's going to have to do drugs the to see. <laughs> going to poke Sarah in the belly. <laughs> can you? <laughs> Oh, no. no. So, Boops Boops him in the nose. Kink him. Oh. <laughs> no, no, just cute. <laughs> <laughs> Which um, book's gonna uh, kind of crouch down at Albie. So you saw the Kenku, the one that took Candlefish voice. What I'm gathering from what you're saying is I need to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> one question, Andy. Do, when when you said that I went to grab at the shoulders and all I had was like a clutch full of like uh, feathers, was there any feathers that may have fallen off of the kanku when I did that? Uh yeah. Like you have still some some fairly large black feathers stuck to your one of your talons. Ooh. I I'll, I'll just hold up. Be like, yeah, we're so close. Look how close I was. And just hold oh it up God. for everybody. Oh, you're so brave. Mozzarella's going to put his nose directly on the feathers and start sniffing them. Perfect. Crack a mage. Crack that little shit. (laughs) He can't hide his face, but he can't hide his smelliness. So it smells like a bird, but a different bird than your bird friends. Smelly smell. That smells smelly. (laughs) Fantastic. (laughs) Um. Oh yeah, this particular smell. Uh, yeah, this is kind of like an avian smell, and you also get uh, some like some uh, fabrics. Uh, maybe like a I don't know, something nice, like a like a silk. Ooh, it's a fairly uh, unique mixture of smells. Oh, oh, very interesting. Yeah, you would have this locked away. Can I smell for him? Can I smell? Sure. Uh, advantage? Perception? Yeah, for your smell checks. Smell section. Smell section. Ooh, uh, 15. Yes. So, you get little, like, whiffs of it around, but it's kind of hard to follow. Like, even with the 15 right now, it's a little bit hard to follow being packed in this tent with this many people. Oh, I smell, but <laughs> I not know where yet. It's, it's very smelly. The strongest over here. Oh, maybe, maybe over her. Oh, follow the mass. <laughs> Something. Follow the gig, Lake Bice. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when, when Maz was just going all about, I just could see the the furred jumping, popping up and down all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> just, just to the scent. <laughs> so, so cute. Um, as you guys all kind of head off, um, Burley walks up to you, Sarah. This is. Oh, big and such as yourself. You, oh, you'd have a place at the carnival here if you wanted. But you could uh, do something kind of similar to what I could. Oh, yeah. Uh, Big Green tried to recruit me, too. <laughs> I, we're, we're told to watch out for potential talent. 
Oh, well, if I uh, if I ever need to make some coin, I'll keep that in mind. Perfect. Just come back and see me if you want a job. This is a. Uh, also, uh, you and your your group should come by after the big top lets out. Don't forget. He just nods back at you like the pumpkin tilts forward a bit and he wanders back to a spot where he's picking things up and kind of keeping... Looks like almost guard over the back tent. Hmm. Can I do another smell check here? Yeah, I'll let you do another one over this way. Yeah. Are the rest of you guys all following mods right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, if anybody wants to do anything else or anything, just chime in and say so. We're all Art. following the fur noodle. I <laughs> would like <laughs> to see if there's any oh. suspicious yes. looking people around. Okay. Uh, roll a perception check while I go through this. Um, Maz, the smell, like you, you've picked up on it. It's stronger over here. And... Um, you are able to tell that it is, it's heading back, uh, like this way towards the, the back part of the tent here. Oh, oh, I think over her, over her, I think. So you follow it around, like winding in and out of people. Um, go ahead. Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. No, never mind. I'm good. Oh, <laughs> all right. I misunderstood and then I figured it out. Oh, <laughs> you, um kind of weave your way in and out um the smell goes out you you're you're weaving in and out of the people you're kind of following the smell and it seems like the smell is doing like a very roundabout like it's not just walking in a straight line over here um just nose down kind of sniffing around it 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 gets out almost to about as far as you can go without hitting the tent wall on this far end and then it doubles back and it goes right up to the the far ring where you're at um at the outside edge and stop there and you see a group of people um you see let me double check something and if anyone gets in maz's way while he's sniffy trunking around i'll put my <laughs> palm on their forehead and push him back a space. <laughs> this little goblin is just reaching up and slamming her hand down on people's foreheads and shoving them back shoving them back. Oh. <laughs> can, I, can I stealth follow the group? Uh, sure. And uh, Maz, well, you're you're doing that. Um, uh, Freddy, you're you are keeping an eye out. And what what specifically were you looking for? Just suspicious people. Suspicious, shifty looking people. Okay. Um, so while well, you're kind of you know doing the owl head thing all the way around, just keeping an eye out everywhere. Uh, you're not seeing anything that looks really suspicious. You don't see any people that are like setting off any alarms for you. Um, Maz, the uh, get up front um, to this the small group of people. There's three of them. There are uh, a human man, a um, elven man, and this little um, bratty kid. They all seem to be taunting Palasha. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> so these particular people smell like the strongest or at least in the area where the smell is the strongest? The smell is right here. You're not sure which one of them it is. Uh, not from unless you're, you're doing something to go right up to each of them. But uh, it's one of these three people. He's going to go and boop his nose on... You said there was a human, an elf, and a kid? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah, a little, Seeing... little human kid. Uh, human kid. Uh, yeah, human man and elven man all standing next to each other. Um, He remembers seeing Alby because he can't hear, but he was watching Alby talk mention man and elf so he's gonna go boop his nose on the man and give him a sniff okay as you <laughs> go over to do that you hear the man um you see and hear him like he's got the, the stick of cotton candy he throws at it something along the lines of um you'd be better off singing underwater Gurgle, gurgle, and he starts making these like imitation bubble noises. <laughs> what a <laughs> thing is. Um, you hear the, the elf man next to him laugh and kind of like give him a little 
a little like elbow to the ribs. Uh, the, the idiot kid just starts busting up laughing and yeah, you'd be better underwater. Just, you know, the mocking crap. Um, and when he throws the, the cotton candy, Palasha doesn't like she doesn't flinch or anything. She just kind of gives him the like shit eye. And you see as she's singing like she um, she hits like a higher note and you see the water actually come up out of her tank and kind of gently push the cotton candy away from landing in her her uh, uh, pool area here. What an ass. Um, so you get a, a good whiff of the man and this is the smell. <gasps> you just happen to go for the right one off the I bat. I guessed it. <laughs> Mozzarella's <laughs> eyes are going to get huge and he's going to slap his little paw and be like is you is him he smells like the smelly smell the smells real smelly is him um you, wait, excuse me get your gross little paws off of me excuse me you're the kenku <laughs> i hold up my i hold up my talon with a bunch of cluster feathers saying we find our man every time <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see the the like eyes go wide real quick, and this time you see the the illusion drop, and standing before you is uh, a very like stark black Kenku, uh, wearing blue robes, some white butterfly wings with orange spots on them, and I might even be able to show you if I can find it. <gasps> is yes, there art? Yes, art. Maybe it's almost, it's almost like I should have had it ready to be pulled up uh, as I was talking about this or something. <laughs> so was it the human or the elf that was the Kenku? It was the human. Was the human. And so the elf is just there being a dick. Yeah. Yeah. I might have should have bitch slapped the other two. <laughs> punch him, moist milk. Punch him. Well, they might be charmed uh, though. <laughs> oh. Kenku oh. no ma- uh, knows magic, so they might be. Punch the charm out of him. That's a good possibility. Punch the charm, the charm out of him. <laughs> I like that. Knock yeah. some sense. I love it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> if I could, I would like to just slide in between the elf and uh, Palasha and just say, your ass must be jealous from all the shit coming out of your mouth. <laughs> You can have advantage on your next D20 roll for that. (laughs) Punch him, punch him with that D20. Um, I, I I can't find the the art for it. I really want to show you guys, but uh, I cannot find the right thing. Um, I really wanted you guys to see it. Or. I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, Do we need a moist milk commercial? Yeah, go ahead and give us a a moist milk commercial. (laughs) Hey there, viewers. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us on this fine Wednesday evening. Please catch us every Wednesday evening. Where you can meet us, your friends. Like me, moist milk. (laughs) How are you spitting on me through the microphone? Oh, I like <gasps> found it. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh. <laughs> nice. I'm going to cry. He's so cute. You're going to cry. I mean, I'm going to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks, he looks like our little chicken we have right now named Kenku. He does. Oh. oh, I see what's happening. If I make him too Look small, the clothes things. thing goes away. Whoops. Oh, God. There he that is, um, that's the Kenku. All right. So thank you for the moist milk ad while I found the art. <laughs> I realized why no it, problem. It, it wasn't finding it when it's trying to look it up. It's just called Handout 3. So that's oh. cool. <laughs> Most of the other ones are oh, named. Uh, okay. Uh, so the, uh, the eyes go wide. The illusion drops. You see that, that character standing in front of you. Um, you can see now that the illusion is dropped. Um, it, it's, it has a few other items on it. You can see uh, a dagger tucked into the belt around its waist. 
Um, mm, Albie, you can see another one of the little bags that it seemed to, to toss at you um, on like a I'm gonna, sash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point that shit out. Be like, watch out with that. That's the sandy stuff. That's the sleepy dust. <laughs> okay. The sleepy dust. Sleepy dust. Um. So the um. The Kenku looks around. It, it's it's really like it's looking at you. And it's looking over to the elf, and the elf just elf just puts his hands up and just kind of does the like I don't want any part of this kind of thing. <laughs> um. Good man. <laughs> seems particularly wary of uh, uh, moist milk there. Um, <laughs> just I, he does like the the zipper across the mouth motion and puts his hands up and just like water wanders away. Um, little little kid is still throwing insults at Palasha, uh, but the Kenku is like looking around. It looks over his shoulder at Mister Light, and you hear in. Um, uh, and a real nice, like, smooth voice. Uh, I don't want to make a scene. Please, can we just go over there, like, out of the way? I don't want Mr. Light to see me. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think I've been a nuisance for way too long, and I think Mr. Light is tired of seeing me. Oh, you think? You have been very mean. You roofied my brother. <laughs> oh, handle quick voice. Uh, okay. At the mention of uh, uh, Candlefoot's voice, um, oh no, she <laughs> it's kind of like perks up and says, uh, "How? How do you know that?" We have our ways. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she looks like very like put off by this, like more so now than you guys kind of you know, finding her, cornering her. Um, just please, please, I, I don't want to get kicked out of here. There's still things I, I talk to him, but I don't want to get tossed out and have him ignore me further. Wait, talk to who? She, like, gestures over her shoulder. Mr. Light. Why don't we go over there right now? Oh, no, not in the middle of the show. That's... No, I think we should go over there right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Beanie can make a terrifying mother when you get adopt that voice. <laughs> no, we're going to go talk to him right now. This is like <laughs> I'm marching the kid back into the store after he took, like, a little piece of candy or something. Um, <laughs> oh, Mom, I can explain. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she she's, like, kind of half panicking doing like the she just goes into like bird twitching all around real quick kind of like no 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 I'll, I'll talk to you and tell you what you want to know just over there fine but no more sleepy dust I would like to do it inside take it check, take it <laughs> like, she puts her hands out wide and, and kind of motions towards a little pouch of sleepy dust take it <laughs> uh, so you can take a bag of twilight sleep Sweet. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And the dagger, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him the dagger. <laughs> All right, uh, Albert has another dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be keeping this. As you slide it away, like you look up right in time to see Mr. Light look over at you and kind of narrow his eyes in your direction. Oh, it's not mine, it is. <laughs> I drop it on the ground. <laughs> No, like you have it put away. You're not. He's not seeing you take the dagger, but it was close. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where where was the Kenku trying to go? To the far end of the tent, where like where uh, moist milk is at the moment. Oh, okay, okay. So she she'd be wanting to go over this way. Okay, got it. But oh, this she. child is still taunting Palasha. Sure is. <laughs> How tall was he compared to me? I'm three and a half foot. He's a little bit shorter than you. I'm going to put my uh, hand on the top of his head. See him like he's, he's eating some kind of taffy or something. And <laughs> he's he's like pulling it out of his mouth, about to throw it. It's just 
that stringy shit just hanging from the chunk of candy Ew. up into his mouth. Ew. As you, one of the children you put your hand on him. Ugh. Can I use prestidigitation to give uh, Moist Milk like this blood red haze around her? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> and, and, and what's Moist Milk saying? Hello, child. <laughs> What are you doing? Pauses with with his arm cocked back and just kind of like slowly looks over at you. He turns around and sees this gray skinned goblin, uh, bright bright red hair up in buns with this like awful red haze surrounding her. Huh? (laughs) Why are you bothering this kind woman? What a lady, she's a fish in a tank. He has feelings. You need to be more aware of your surroundings or you're going to get your ass kicked. (laughs) (laughs) He he started to to say something like to argue with you. But when you say like threaten that you're going to kick his ass, uh, the argument kind of (laughs) just kind of almost drools on himself and you see that that stringy chunk of taffy just slowly oh. float down the front of his shirt because <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 you're still walking around with your like goat horn staff and everything right yeah. <laughs> oh yeah go ahead and staff. yeah you had that <laughs> you're a little bit intimidating a little bit gross <laughs> From now on, you are going to be kinder and a better person, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. You're not going to bother this wonderful woman anymore, right? No. Good, good job. And she's going to pinch his cheek, and then she's going to spin him around to face the opposite direction, and she's going to whisper in his ear, two wrongs, don't make a right, ask your parents, and then she's going to kind of push him <laughs> away from the... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Fantastic! Got the mother duo, just with Levy and Moist Milk, <laughs> absolutely destroying this child. Um, now he'll know. He was. He, <laughs> he's he sent packing. Uh, he wanders around. You um, you do see as he turns around to walk away, like single tear go down the corner of his eye. <laughs> Lip is quivering. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. My thirst has been quenched. <laughs> My thirst has been quenched. Oh, you feel you feel some kind of fey canteen uh, fill with his child's tears. <laughs> now this is. Anyway, can to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> the uh, the Kenku goes and stands against the, the back of the tent over here. Uh, you guys, I just imagine you're doing like some kind of like bully semicircle around them. <laughs> around her. Exactly. Yeah. School playground. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, hang on. Let me see if I can grab a, a, a Kenku token real quick while I'm talking here. <clears throat> um, yeah. So yeah, you guys have her like surrounded against the tent wall here, and she's what? I'm. What, what do you want to? What? I. Uh, uh, well, thanks for not making a scene. But what would you? What, what can I tell you to make you want to just leave me alone? All I want to do is talk to Mister Light, and he won't talk to me. Hmm. Why is that? Doesn't want to answer my questions. I'm gonna let Albie get in there. Get in there, Albie. Oh! God, that's all. Token just appears. Now, what would you have done that makes him not want to answer your questions? That's the question itself right there. I didn't. Well, she she starts to say that she didn't do anything wrong and she catches herself. <clears throat> she says, I've been causing mischief because he wouldn't talk to me at first. If he would have just answered what I was asking the first time, I, none of this would be happening. Candlefoot would still have his voice. I wouldn't have 
run around just causing mischief everywhere, just trying to get his attention to make him force him to sit and talk with me, and he refuses to do so. Hmm. Well, oh, but he's on him. He's what right there. Question? Wait, wait, wait. One at a time. Whoop, whoop, uh, whoop, voicemail? Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I was just being... No, you said yours there. first, so what was yours? Oh, I just said, do you have a crush on him? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no. And she she looks over towards, uh, I think, Albert or uh, something. Oh, I just said he's right there as to Mr. Light. Oh, I... Isn't he right next to us? <laughs> no, no. He's in the middle of, like, the middle ring of the, the uh, tent there. He's still putting on the show. Okay, I'll just point over there and say that then. Well, yeah, I know where he's at. He still won't talk to me. And, uh, Freddy, did you ask something? What did you want to ask him? I want to ask him about Prismere. Oh. Ooh. Beneficial information. Oh, that's where we're going. Um, she kind of perks up a little bit. We were going to ask him about that, too. Well. Why do you want to go to Prismere? Puts her her, paw, her hands together and she kind of rubs them. And she says, maybe we could help each other out then. I've, uh. I've made a pact a long while back. With, um, the ruler of Prismere, and recently I'm, I haven't been able to access his, my magic like I normally would. As you could tell with the, the, the dust in the bags, uh, sorry, she looks towards Albie. <clears throat> I've had to resort to more alchemical means of accomplishing the same feats in her getting the same results that I'm used to through magical means. I think something's wrong there. I think something's wrong with with <clears throat> Prismere as a whole. I I have a feeling that that my my patron is no longer in touch with me. I don't know why. That's all I want to know. I, I want to know how to get there. I want to make sure that everything is okay. Can I do an insight check? Sure can. Is she telling the truth? I'll roll for it. Mmm. Insight! <laughs> when, when, when she said... No. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty honest. No. <laughs> I believe her. Yeah, you're not sure. Now, now when, when she said the patron, or oh. patron, sorry, uh... Oh, still not right. Oh. I, <laughs> I thought she just left. I was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, uh, uh, Zabilna, your patron. She shakes her head. God nods her head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is with the shaking? Oh, I don't train. know. <laughs> Terrible. It's as bad as the Karis wheel. <laughs> she has a warlock. Here we go. Oh, um, I love her. Just on the off chance, do you know a guy named uh, Magic? Perhaps. Wash, wash cloth. <laughs> you mentioned yeah. Magic in uh, she, her. All of her feathers fluff up. It's kind of a stern look on her face. Hmm. Um. um. She just, she lets out like a, a bird squawk. She's known him for quite some time. Trust him. Trust a single thing he says. I'm sure he doesn't mm -hmm. trust me either. There's some beef here. <laughs> oh, boy. Mozzarella. Smelling, smelling the beef. Uh, There's some beef going on. I smell beef. beef here uh, than my mother's meatloaf. <laughs> I'll be... <laughs> Albie would say, one second, and then his head would turn all the way around to look at his brothers, and he'd lean backwards <laughs> towards him and say, you know, we heard about three individuals that don't trust each other. Do you think this might be in some relation to that, possibly? 
I thought those were the witches. Oh, yes. I witches. know, but I mean, I, hold on. I can't do this too long. It hurts my neck, and I just turn my body around. <laughs> and I, do, I do it regularly. Oh, sorry. That was a little much. I don't know, but it's just... Seems like nobody trusts each other. Though, then again, if you're getting dust thrown in your face all the time, and then you're losing contact with people that you know all the time, people are going missing all the time. This place is fucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it for a second there. I <laughs> you went hey, full I'm trailer park excuse. boys on us. <laughs> that didn't sound very much like trailer park boys. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> no. Excuse me, miss, but why? Why don't you trust Mr. Magic? Razlav, rice bowl. Rice bowl. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a a bit of a rivalry for as long as either of us can remember. Uh, honestly, at this point, I don't even remember who wronged who or what even caused the incident. But no, he's he's not to be trusted. I don't anyway. And as I've said, I'm pretty well convinced that he doesn't trust me. Um, well, you know, he's old and old, very old, um, so he actually kind of maybe a little bit of, uh, hired oh. us to do the same thing you're doing. Not another loud squawk when you say that. Hmm. Actually, maybe, maybe that's okay starts like muttering to herself like she looks like she's she's thinking on things like what you just told her <clears throat> she says he's cut off too then it's not just not just me there might be something even worse going on. i thought i did something to anger zabil nar she just cut me off done with me but he's cut off too then either something's very very wrong or she has a new favorite and just Stopped us both. Hmm. Bobby, should we? Should this only we makes me want to talk to Mr. Light even more. Should we? Should we say what they say at the carousel? Oba said Karis wheel again. Bobby. <laughs> 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 <I'll be. laughs> with, with, with all those different, uh, different uh, little, uh, the, uh, Little Easter eggs, puzzles. you yeah. know, the witches. Yeah, yeah. The witches yeah, yeah. have her. The witches have her. Uh, okay. Might, might, might be, might, might. Listen, we're trying to help her. You don't need to know what we're doing. We can help you. Just don't stab us in the back, or we will literally stab you in the back. <laughs> well, at least you're honest about it, I suppose. Yeah, I have her I knife. Do that. I have her knife. She can't stab us. Oh, uh, no, it's a, it's a saying, like, she can't betray us, you know. It's you just, guys don't know oh. about metaphors, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Metaphor what? I, I, <laughs> I do have to say, uh, if you don't mind my saying, you seem very well spoken for a Kanku. Don't don't they usually just do mimicry? <laughs> she uh kind of furrows her brow and she's with a, a sigh, she reaches around and pulls something out of her, her um satchel next to her. Um she pulls out a it's kind of amusing, a corn husk doll. Um hmm. you see around the doll's neck. Uh, there looks to be some kind of thorny stem wrapped around the neck. Oh, oh. shit. Oh. You stole Caddafoot's voice so you could talk. My <gasps> well-spoken nature. Probably something to do with this. It's hard oh. to carry on a conversation and be listened to when... And all we can do is mimic what we've heard. Moist Milk takes a step back because she's super angry, but she wants to hear the Kenku out. And so she's just... Just <laughs> seething, just frothing milk. 
oh. <laughs> frothing milk. <laughs> oh, I thought moist milk was bad. <laughs> Welcome to her sister, frothing milk. <laughs> frothing milk. <laughs> <laughs> An angry terrible. volcano of Terry. <laughs> oh, no. Crimson, nope. Oh. <laughs> It's a hard no. <laughs> don't like that. <laughs> nope, don't like that. <laughs> <clears throat> she says, oh, oh, wait, uh, wait. <laughs> I actually mimicry um, thing we're mostly loathed for sometimes comes in handy. The last time I they would actually talk to me, I I overheard um, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. Would you like to hear? Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She <laughs> clears her throat a little bit in, in crystal clear in um, uh, Mr. Light's voice, although it sounds a bit agitated. You hear, someone's going to find out about this and they'll shut us down. Um, you hear Mr. Witch's kind of gruff voice. We agreed to this pact. Hands are forced, but our eyes were open. We let the hourglass coven take what it wants, and in return, we stay in business. That is what you wanted, right? <laughs> and she <coughs> clears her throat again and goes back into Candlefoot's voice. They know more than they're letting on, and I just want to talk to them. Hmm. What. The. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is all making me angry, Sarah. <laughs> well, maybe we can at least get Candlefoot's voice back. Sarah, I want to punch everybody right now. <laughs> Please don't punch so, me. <laughs> so what was your name again? I, I'm called Kettle Steam. Kettle steam. I love that kettle. name. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. We all fall in love with the Ken Coon. Oh. It's too cute. I'm taking notes. Yeah, I was uh, pausing for the note taking. <laughs> yep. But uh, yeah, I, I, I would definitely look at the brothers when we hear our glass coven because we heard about that shit when we were at the carousel I almost said carousel wheel yes <laughs> what is it about that it's amazing it's just fun I don't know it's, just, it's uh, a good word it is a good word now I want to take an image of a carousel and flip it so it's on its edge and slap it in the middle of a ferris wheel it makes no <laughs> sense how good your balance of gravity is yeah. on the carousel wheel Jeez. Well, that's why it has to go really fast. <laughs> so no, of course. No, it's going to send no, them out. to go fast so you can be launched super <laughs> far. <laughs> um, Jeez. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, she she's done the mimicry impersonating both of their voices. Um She pretty much has, has told you, like, the, the only way that she believes she's going to get any attention or help from Mr. Witch by causing me and doing so until they finally are, like, forced to talk to her. Um, you can see, like, she's she's fairly nervous talking to all you guys, and she still has the, the little corn husk doll out, and she's, she's, like, nervously, like, fidgeting with it, and... Um, you know, like she's just kind of she's got the nervous energy uh she's like clenching and unclenching her fist and messing with the doll um she um she yeah. she looks towards you and she says you were already if you were already trying to go to Prismere um think you could look for me as well if I promise to behave? Yeah. Right? Yeah? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, but you gotta give that voice I, back. Yeah. Ooh do. Ooh god do. That, that makes me wonder something. 
Now, what exactly did you do to steal the voice? Um, well, when I had just a, a bit of magic remaining. Magic? What? <laughs> magic? Magic. <laughs> I bound the voice <laughs> to the doll and I can use it. And you could do that to anybody, right? Maybe before, but not anymore. Not at the moment. Oh. Hmm. Should have done it that shithead, not Candlefoot. Oh, oh, I want Moist Milk's voice. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you. Everybody does. I know. <laughs> the transformation is complete. Oh, God. I fear that would be. <laughs> Just turns into a they live scenario. Everybody gets some moist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. So did it say it could give Candlefoot? She could give Candlefoot his oh, voice back? She says that she could. Okay. <laughs> Which Y'all. like to the moistening. Oh. The moistening? <laughs> <laughs> the moistening. Uh, Omnia said someone called yeah. mozzarella made me hungry. Aww. <laughs> mozzarella. That's mozzarella. That's mozzarella. Mm. He's adorable. So aren't we going to go uh, talk to Mr. Witch and Mr. Light right now anyway? Uh, when the carnival shuts down. Or when the show's when done. the show, yeah, the show's oh. over. So don't we just take uh, the Kenku with us? I am hesitant to talk to Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. Well, didn't we the Kenku just confirm earlier. that they're working with the hags? And the hags were the one that Trap Sabrina. Zabilna. Gosh. Zabilna. Zabilna. Yeah. Zablina. Zabilna. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling her Zablina. Because that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's the way it's spelled <laughs> looks like that. That that's tough because you don't know if either A they voluntarily did it or they were strong armed into it, and it's like, damn it. We Ugh. could talk like, to Burley yeah. first and see what he says. Yeah. See if he can he tell us good anything. Insight. Talk to Burley about his bosses. Yeah. Let him vent. Yeah. <laughs> um, we so invite? were you guys? Do do? Yeah, I was just going to ask what you were doing with uh, Kettle Steam here. I guess we'll probably, you, you all want to stay with her? And also we can make sure she gives the voice back if she's with yeah, us? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Keep her with us until <laughs> we get, and take her with us to go talk to Mr. Witch and Light. I, I would ask if... Uh, do you do you know how to write? Well, sure. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> just checking, just checking for you know future voice returns and all that. <laughs> That's all. Is is the you understand how hard it is for me to talk, um, and get my ideas across in mimicry only? Yes. I mean. He was trying to propose to the mermaid lady, so you kind of got him at a real, real bad time. <laughs> oh, I, this is I, true, I suppose. Um, if you help me, I, maybe. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? You got to give that. Hey, oh, he's saying yours. <laughs> no, no, but I do kind of need it. No, you can write down your ideas on paper. Yeah. Uh, I can give you my tooth tomorrow. We can talk telepathically any time. Oh, she looks absolutely horrified at that. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you give a tooth? <laughs> it's communication. It's better than stealing Camelfoot's voice. He wants to propose. Is that why you sound the way you do? Wait. <laughs> when you see the bunch of loose teeth just rattling around. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. Fall out like corn. <laughs> oh God! Why? Sorry, sorry. Why corn? Every time you hear that, James. every time you hear a little plink against their mic, it's just another horn tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I have an idea. I remember seeing this one play called Cigarette Burkerack. And, and there was a guy with a big old noggin. And he helped uh, helped a guy sound really attractive to another person. Maybe, I don't know. It's like a surrogate voice thing temporarily. Then if we get this job done, maybe we can have the voice returned. It's just on loan. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we can find her a different voice, perhaps. Well, uh, she, well, she said she can't do it again. That was the only time she could do it, apparently. Well, we, we just had to freeze the builder. And also, I kind of get what she's talking about. There, there are some spells that I could only do if I could actually say them. Mm-hmm. So, That's uh, true. Lev, what was the the last bit you said to Kettle Steam here? Uh... Perfect. everybody. Perfect. Just perfect. I love you. So, something Sorry. about uh, that's not your voice. You got to give it back. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That's, that sounds about right. Um, <laughs> you can make a. An intimidation or a persuasion check, depending oh, okay. on how you want to go about this. Oh, okay. Ooh. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to be intimidating because I don't think it's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give that voice back. Right now. Damn. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, um, was so good first. <laughs> and went- a 12 total. All right. Uh, DC was 12. Um, oh. Hey. Oh, okay. Nice. Kettle steam is in the middle of, of still kind of like twisting it back and forth. Not like she's not trying to ruin it or anything. It's just the nervous energy. Um, she says she looks at you and your eyes love. She says, you will help me, right? Oh, well, yeah. Trusting Do you I guys. look like a liar? <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> um, uh... Do you want me to do it? Oh, absolutely. We're going to have fun with it. <laughs> yes. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, well but she not hands... all the time. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> not all the time? Yeah. Uh, she hands you the doll. And Ooh. she says... Um, uh, she, she tells you... Uh, just... Undo the thorn and should have his voice back. <gasps> oh. Is there anything else you need to tell us before? Well, it's going to be a lot harder to have a conversation with me. I can give you a tooth. <laughs> I- she shudders and fluffs her feathers again. <laughs> I pull out some paper. And uh, hand it to her. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> I'm going to give her a uh, gross hug and uh, <laughs> say, Thank you. You're bringing two hearts together and it makes me feel so good. <laughs> Super wet feathers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all moist and damp now. Can 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 Albie just lean in and say, "Sorry about getting all flustered up about the whole dust in the face thing, but uh, there might be a ch- uh, I don't know. We might run into a few individuals that don't trust each other with a lot of power, and uh, if they don't trust each other, maybe they can trick us into stealing a voice or two. Maybe I don't know. I'm just putting that on the back burner, and I'll just do like an owl wink, and just do like the owl plop off towards the brothers." She says, "You're still willing to help me after that back there." Speed. There oh, was oh, that oh, kind wait. of a uh, little <laughs> shit of a kid over there, and the nasty old elf. You probably could have taken their voices. I doubt anyone <laughs> would have missed theirs. <laughs> well, well, all you really did was just throw dust in my face, and I went night night for like a minute, and uh, you know, you didn't stab me, so I appreciate that. And you didn't, uh, you didn't rob me, so that was much appreciated too. She nods towards you, and uh, it says something along the lines of uh, "birds of a feather" and all that. Hmm. I see what you did there. (laughs) (laughs) 
Sorry. <laughs> All right. Sometimes we do things we're not proud of when we're desperate. So Lev, you have the um, the corn husk doll. Do 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we go over to Candlefoot first? Oh yeah, let's get invited to is, their is wedding. He, is, yeah. <laughs> is he on break or is he in the middle of something? No, he's still up in the stands. All right, let's get him. Let's all like mob him all at once. <laughs> we got you, Mr. boys. <laughs> Everybody just Candlefoot. leaves Kettle Steam here and takes off running for Candlefoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna hang out with Kettle, Kettle Steam and also just kind of look at the uh, look at uh, I forget the mermaid's name, Palasha. Palasha. Spalasha. <laughs> I like the only hear in Moist Milk's voice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. it's, it's amazing Palasha. that you make the Palasha sound so wet. <laughs> Do you want to hear it again? No. no. <laughs> I'll stay here with you, uh, Albie. Okay, uh, Sarah, you just jetted across the tent. Where are you off to? <laughs> I just saw that too. She got yep. shit to do. <laughs> She's got to pee. Just, uh, you know, okay. looking for. Uh, damn, I can't think of his name. The mime? Uh, Candlefoot? No. Burly. Oh, Burly. Oh. Burly. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's still posted up over there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys can feel the uh, the show is kind of winding down. Um, <laughs> Omnia, thank you for the, <laughs> the moist milk points. <laughs> the moist points. The moist bits. Oh, thank um, you so much. Uh, so yeah, you, you can still see him over there. You can also hear Mr. Light is winding the show down. Um, you see the performers kind of tidying up and the, the trapeze artists up above are doing their last big... Um, big routine here the fire juggling goblins are all directly underneath the trapeze and they are slowly making a uh, like an a-frame of goblins higher and higher as they climb on top of each other um you see as they they make this like 20 foot tall like ladder of goblins here uh you see the flaming bowling pins get brought out um, and they're they're just tossing it up the sides of this this like a frame of goblins it gets to the top and it, they they like switch sides at the top and they come flying back down but they're handing it off they're just really damn good at it um, you see as they're doing this they, they go back up the the trapeze act, uh, goes back and forth above them um, as the one trapeze act uh, or uh, art, I don't know what they're called artist. I'm not sure what they call them, but yeah, I think uh, it's right. As the the one uh, trapeze artist goes across over the top, he intercepts the um, uh, flaming bowling pin. Aerialist, yeah, that might be a good one. Thank you. Um, as the one aerialist goes across, uh, intercepts the bowling pin and tosses it to the one passing him. Uh, so now that they've not only got the like a frame of goblins uh, doing these <laughs> these uh, flaming bowling pins. The trapeze artists are in on this. They go back to their sides. They swing back across and they each toss the, the bowling pins back down. Um, the next time they swing out wide, they come back. They leap off of each swing, catch the other one, high five a goblin on their way by. And <laughs> that is kind of the the whole like final act right there you see a big old firework come from behind uh sarah you see burly this huge grin from underneath his jack-o'-lantern helmet uh as he he's the one that lit off the firework and <laughs> you can tell burly fucking loves lighting off fireworks this is his favorite thing <laughs> um but it, it goes off right as uh the high five happens there's this this big celebration the crowd is um it, it's going crazy for it everybody's cheering and, and hooting and hollering meanwhile you guys still have kettle steam over here um with the corn husk doll uh, in your hands love uh i guess i'm gonna go to Candlefoot, damn. Okay. 
Uh, Candlefoot is now up in this corner over here. Is Basic he still fight. working? <laughs> What's up? Is he still Sorry. working? Oh yeah, yeah. He was um he's no longer playing tug of war though. He's he's acting like he's got like binoculars or a spyglass, like he's got his hands up to his face, like really looking and watching the act, and he, he turns towards the uh um uh the rest of the crowd and he's kind of like gesturing for him to, like look 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 and look at that and he's pointing every every which way he can uh pointing out all the different acts going on um he sees you guys coming as he's doing this and he, he looks over and waves a bit um yeah well what are you doing as you uh walk back up there uh she sticks the doll in the air and waves it got your voice he's looks a little confused at the doll. Come, come down and get it. <laughs> come down and get it. You see almost like a light bulb moment. <laughs> uh, his mouth drops open and he just like points to his throat. Oh, you want me to? I thought I was going to give you all the fun, but I'll do it. Uh, pull the thorn out. Um, you... You're watching this mime, like he points to his throat and he's kind of gesturing. His mouth is already hanging open. Um, you hear. <coughs> like he's, he's making more noises. And as he's making the noises, like he's getting visibly excited. Uh, he throws his arms up in the air. He's like, I can talk again. I get. I, I, thank you. And this, this big old dwarf that's standing next to him, he's like, uh, you're a fucking fail mime. What mime talks? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, he, he looks over and that's smiles weird. at him. It, it's, uh, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I can talk. I can talk now. Aww. Uh, he runs over to Lev and gives you a, a big old hug, Lev. Um, he runs over... Uh, he, he says, yeah, thank you. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't had my voice so long. Um, I, he starts checking his pockets real fast. He jams his hands on his pockets. He's, uh, he fishes around for a minute. And he, he makes like a, uh, uh, oh, okay. Um, um, thank you. I'm um, sorry. He runs away over to uh, Palash's um, little pool. Oh, he, you he, forgot he, your doll. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> uh, make an arcana check oh 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 sorry i got excited <laughs> <laughs> if he's gonna propose i want to be there <laughs> uh, so lev when you pulled the, the thorn out or unwrapped it <clears throat> you felt the magic leave um it's just an inanimate uh corn husk doll now oh. um but he he runs over um is waving like a madman. You, you can hear him go, uh, Palasha, Palasha. Hey, it's, it's Candlefoot. Hey, um, <laughs> she's still like, she's just into the singing at the end of the show for this final act. Like she's very much a part of this. Um, she, she does like a double take and looks over in the middle of singing and she stops. And it's like an almost like an eerie uh, sort of silence. Uh, where you guys were used to hearing her super like vibrant voice that just takes up everything in the tent here. Um, she swims over. You, you can talk again. Um, yeah, yeah, I can. And I, I swore this would be the first thing I do with it. And he, he drops down to his knee and he proposes to her the, the entire tent goes just silent in fact you hear or see rather um mr light motion with his his scepter uh with uh, scepter in one hand uh, flat hand in the other like he's he's um lowering everything down like trying to get everybody to shush um Blasha's, she's swum over now to the edge of the bowl and she's got both of her hands up on it um she looks over and as he gets done saying his whole spiel she nods yes and she uh, of course 
of course. And then she just lets out this big bellowing song, uh, almost like a Disney movie, just, of course, and just <laughs> rings out. <laughs> awesome. I want to hear the rest, Andy. It's a musical. Sing the rest of it. Yeah, no, thank you. Three owl and fly to her. Yeah. <laughs> Three owl and land on her arm. <laughs> we call it. Start whistling. Moist Milk is giving them space, but she's in the crowd just crying. She's like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and she's going to use the sleeve of some person next to her and just wipe her face. Oh my God, she's beautiful. <laughs> It's my sleeve! <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I can clean it, it's fine. Um, Albie looks at it happy, but then kind of looks back to Kettle's scene, realizing. Yeah. Um, Kettle's scene sees you, shrugs, and in her uh, Kenku mimicry, just says, of course. Uh, Albert oh, hurts voice. my heart. Albert will hop over to Kettlestein and he'll pluck out uh, a wing feather from his wing and uh, dip it in some ink and hand it to her. Um, she takes it and she has her paper. Um, she doesn't she, have to say anything. She just writes... Um, I'm sorry. Um, and then underneath, she says, I'll do what I can. And just puts a period and like a, a long line at the end of it. And Albert will take uh, a quill out and write on there. Um, we'll help you and, and thank you. Uh, she writes back, my ears still work. Oh yes, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just like to write. <laughs> uh, but she she nods towards you. You know, I could just like read a dictionary to Kettlesteam, and then she has to talk like me. Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> the absolute curse uh, of moist milk. <laughs> <laughs> he spreads. <laughs> so the moistening begins and that's I think that's where we'll wrap it up tonight that's a good spot to leave it off at yeah <laughs> okay then we won't worry Woo! about the ambience next week's the wedding <laughs> yeah yeah wedding. wedding episode next week <laughs> wedding episode destination <laughs> wedding prismere <Thank> you, <laughs> yeah um, everyone thank oh. you guys for watching and I will uh, address a couple of things um uh, Omnia, yeah, the the art is uh, all the character art here, which I can go back over them real real quick as we uh, wrap up. All the character art is done by General Tampon Mel. Uh, she did an absolutely fantastic job with all of this. Hi. Um, <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> Lady Mastella did all the UI work, and they they kind of combined together for the like the BRB screen and any of the. Um, uh, like social media post art, which is pretty much the VRB screen. Um, <laughs> how does it feel saying that name? General Tampon? Well, I'm used to it. I've known her for too long. <laughs> if, if it's not this, it's something worse. So uh, <laughs> that is true. General Tampon Mel is it's one of the more um, mild things. Um, I'm a lady. <laughs> never, never believe her when she says this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, she did all the, the awesome character art here. Um, the tokens are a mixture of tokens that came with the module. So from the book, uh, the character tokens are all hers, by the way. Um, but the um, these tokens here, uh, Mr. Witch, Mr. Light, Burley and Kettle Steam, these are all from David North illustrations. Dude does absolutely fantastic artwork. He does uh, commissions. Um, I actually commissioned him to make uh, some some bumper mugs. We had uh, a cup of Joe token. Uh, he mm -hmm. was the the runner of the bumper mugs. Um, uh, and then the rest of it would be like some of the official uh, D and D art that we use as tokens. Um, I'm trying to think if you ask anything else. The the music is 
honestly hard for me to get uh, pinned down. So I actually appreciate uh, anybody if they say they can't hear it or they're having a hard time hear it, hearing it because it was like decently loud for me on my end. But I do want you guys to be able to hear it. And this was mostly just the, the like crowd uh, sounds and less music. Uh, out in the, the carnival proper, there's more music and stuff. Yeah, Grim knows. It, it's hard to get music dialed in right so that people watching can hear it. Uh, honestly, the most important part is that you can hear all of us and we're not too, uh, we're not too loud or too soft or you know, it's not coming through like garbage or anything. So as long as I hit that, I'm happy with that. And I would like to get the music dialed in a little bit better. Uh, awesome. Good to hear. So yeah, that is good to know. We, like I said, are going to wrap up. Um, uh, I did announce that we'll be starting uh, or I'll be starting another campaign with some of our stream friends on here. We got Fusca, mm -hmm. uh, Rev Eldridge, So Very Twisted and Nikki Nerds Out. I'll, I'll be running through the um, Pathfinder 2nd Edition Beginner Box. We're starting that about mid-June, June 19th, I believe. Um, and that'll be on Monday nights, uh, 7.30 Eastern to 10.30 Eastern. And it should take us about four-ish episodes or uh, I say that it's probably going to take us like six or something, but um, I'll be running through that. Uh, only I think one of them, one or two of them has any Pathfinder experience whatsoever or for second edition. So we're all going to be kind of learning it as we play through it together. Um, I'm trying to think. We put all the episodes up uh, on YouTube um, I, on Mondays for Witchlight, and then uh, they're. They're on here. It, it takes me a minute to get them on here because I always forget about them. But we, we will put them on here uh, in the VOD section as a collection. You can find them all on here. We also have two other campaigns over on YouTube if you want to check them out. Uh, we very much appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. And if you want to stick around, we'll be taking you into some more D&D. Um, you know, speaking of Fusca, we'll go we'll go right into Fusca and see what they're up to tonight. Uh, yes. I, I always get their schedules mixed up and I can't remember who's DMing, but um, over right in there, everybody should say hi. They're a fantastic group of people and uh, it's usually pretty hilarious hanging out in there and watching their D&D sessions. So again, thank you guys for hanging out. Jay-Z, thank you for the bits. Joe, thank you for the, uh, the donation for the, uh, the birthday. Very much appreciated. Um, I will be back when it's tomorrow, Thursday. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, Jay-Z and Lewis playing some games. <laughs> playing some James? James, you're not supposed no. to you're not supposed to give us bits. Know. You're playing. I, I <laughs> you don't are know what player. you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you, but what the hell, James? Um, Your passive perception didn't catch it. <laughs> was don't yell at my child. <laughs> <laughs> Slash cut oh, to really? James and I at work tomorrow, and I just like slip him a five. Just go like, good job. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's appreciated, you guys. Thank you. Um, thanks for anybody that, that might have been lurking, not saying anything. Uh, I very much appreciate that too. So, um, like I said, we're gonna jump over to Fuska's channel. If you're not already following, make sure you drop him a follow. Uh, say hi. Let him know we sent you. Give him some love. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow playing something. Neverwinter, Solasta, I'm not sure which one yet, but the three of us will be playing something tomorrow. Um, guys, have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Adios. Everybody. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Thanks for coming out. Much love.